Hello everyone, it is Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link stream. We got a big event going on right now. We have Taya Gardner's Reminiscence of the Future. Reminiscence? Yeah, that's how you, you say that word, uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna tackle the event. Uh, to be honest, I don't know much about this event, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to unlock Taya in this stream. I don't know how long that's gonna take. But, um, yeah, we're just going to play some, uh, some Duel Links and, uh, see how things go. Um, I thank you to everyone who's coming by. I know it's kind of a, a late night stream, but, you know, I want to be more consistent with the streaming. I, I always say my goal is four streams and four uploads, but I would like to maybe, uh, do a stream every day, even if I could. Maybe seven streams a week, one for each day of the week. I really do want to try and... and transition into becoming more of a consistent streamer and I want to give a shout out to everyone who is joining us on this lovely uh, Thursday evening big thank you to long fam hard jab Tijuana Trav Jack before I continue okay we got the chat working just wanted to make sure that was good to go goosey Q Corey sauce anyone Sabiha Matt the hero Davis pokey girl alternative France shooting star Jennifer the gamer shadow Rumsey dark J strike Jerick Marcelo, oof kid, I see all you guys, Rainwing, you guys are all incredible, Kay, how you doing, uh, Kyle, how you doing, yeah, and hopefully you guys, uh, have fun, again, I'm, I've changed the, uh, the, the stream design a little bit, we got the dual links theme in the background, so hopefully that looks a little cooler, looks maybe a little more relevant, um, yeah, as Slender Bear said, let's do it, I'm, uh, I'm pumped, we're gonna get right into it, before we get into it, I do start every single stream off by thanking everyone who Super Chat donated in that last stream. Uh, so for this one, it'll be the last Duel Link stream because the Super Chat donations mean so much to me. And I feel like this is just such a small way that I can show off my thanks by kicking off the next stream, thanking everyone who supported me that sort of way in the last stream. So huge thank you to Legendary Duels, KP, Goosey Q, Otis Cunningham, Galaxy Tech Dark Lord, Davis Enos, Nadine V, and Stardust Nobody. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Taya Gardner. All right. Well, we got to go to DSOD World for that, right? So let's get off the Bandit Keith screen here. Um, what 007? Dude, this guy is the man. This guy is just, uh, honestly, such a good dude. Such an amazing Duel Links content creator. I mean, I, when, I, when it comes to Duel Links, again, I'm a noob. I'm still starting off. Uh, Watt's videos have helped me out a lot. Watt, thank you so much for the donation, man. When's Misty Treadwell coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links? That's a good question. I'm honestly stunned uh, that Watt007 um, has not gotten his waifu yet in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links because when I first played this game, I thought Misty was a playable character. When I learned that Hiru was a playable character, and when I learned that Dark Signer Carly and, and, you know, Godwin were playable characters, I was like, oh, I guess, you know, Misty and all the other Dark Signers will be playable. And they weren't. And I was like, really? And I think it was Brad who was in that stream a few streams ago, Watt, and he said that it's probably not going to happen. We're probably never going to get Misty Treadwell because most of her cards have come in, so, um, or whatever the reasoning was. That might not have been the reason he gave, but... That sucks, man. Watt, you know, I'm a huge advocator for it. I would uh, I would love to see Misty in the game just for you, dude. But seriously, thank you for the donation. And if you want consistent, amazing, quality Duel Links content, click Watt007's channel name in the chat. Give him a subscription. Uh, he is an amazing dude. Great streamer. Great guy. Uh, and Game Master YOLO, thank you for the donation. Ready to clear out an entire box again. Honestly... Uh, no. <laughs> Game Master, thank you for the donation. Uh, let me just change this alert box. That is something that we will probably not be doing, um, anytime soon. But, um, I do have my gems back up. I mean, we have gems up to 1521. The gems were down to, like, 15. And I've been grinding for, like you know, 48 hours straight pretty much since that stream on Tuesday afternoon, and we're already up to 1,500, so I do a pack opening, you know how it is, like every three weeks, every month, um, and so, yeah, not yet, Game Master YOLO, um, but maybe at some point, I mean, we do need a few more Super Heavy Samurais to finish off the deck, so maybe, I guess you'll never say never, but, um, Taya is not unlockable until the 29th, did not know that, so, uh, I guess we are not going to be unlocking Taya, but I do want to check out the event. I have not done the event yet, and that kind of sucks that you can't unlock her until then. Is that like a typical Duel Links thing? They do the event for the character, and then you have to wait a little bit? We do have a new deck. Um, 
Oof, kid. Yeah, I've been working with super heavy Sams, which I built, so DD Warrior later is not in the deck. I just added her in for some objective I was doing. Uh, still have to update the deck a little bit because we really need three soul piercers. I know we need another wagon, but honestly, they're coming out pretty good. The extra deck's looking good. I got that sixth slot from Synchro Summoning nonstop, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy about that. So Super Heavy Samurais are, are coming along, and that's still a deck that I need to learn a lot about. Luna Lights are still the deck that we're going to be rolling with probably for a while. Jack Gibbs, how you doing? Thanks for coming by. Nilo Rodriguez, dude. Thank you so much for the $10. That is a very generous donation, man. What's up, bro? Nilo, I love you, man. Thank you so much for donating, dude. I hope you're having a great night. Oh, we do not want to do that. I just literally... Is, it... is there any way to replay that? There probably is, right? You can just... Okay. I literally have fast forward. All right. I want to actually see this. I don't think they interacted the whole movie. I don't think they interacted literally the whole movie. Can I help you? Would you care to duel me? Oh, I guess, right, it's because we're playing as Sarah. Duh. I haven't dueled that many girls, so this should be cool. Yeah. As as a Yu-Gi-Oh! anime fan, it's very seldom that we get those girl v. girl uh, duels. It rarely happens. Misty and Aki was probably the most notable rivalry. Uh, funny enough, Watt bringing up Misty earlier. So, yeah, I guess we have to duel her on level 10. All right, we'll, we'll duel her. I mean, this is going to be a... Um, Probably a very easy duel if she's on level 10 by default. Ooh, I love the background. I love the background. This is like the main like plaza. The ones who will sure. I'm ready to fight. Duel. It's my turn. KP, thank you so much for the donation. You're the sweetest. Thank you. Um, why do I have? Oh no. Oh, I I had to use continuous spells for an objective, and I didn't take them out of this deck. Ugh, that's not good. That is not good. We, we, we're okay, though. It's level 10, so we're fine. Is that why we have... Yeah, we have 27 cards in our deck. I had to use continuous spells. You know, I, I objective hunt when I'm not actually uh, streaming. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be awkward. I do have a discord um, I had a public discord back in like 2017 when the channel first started and it just got infiltrated with trolls And it, it was just a nightmare to maintain so my discord now since like early 2019 is for anyone who is a raw yellow member or a $5 patron even if it's just for one month, you don't get kicked from the Discord. I know some content creators do that. Um, once you're in the Discord, you're welcome to the Discord forever. Um, but yeah, it is for, I, at the beginning, just for members. And that, again, is to just avoid the stresses that Discord brought on me so long ago. But Kay, thank you for the donation. Play as Kaiba. She'll ask him if he's going to be at the graduation. Oh, okay, yeah, so we got that, those unique uh, lines, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll play as Kaiba next. I'll absolutely do that. Oh, we got this win, Betty. This is in the bag. I mean, this is, is going to be an easy duel. Yeah, she's normal summoning. Oh, right, she's got the Witch Crafters. Oh, that's sick. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Well, I guess we'll activate these continuous spells. I mean, we have the dual one. Oh, maybe not. I don't know which crafters. I think we still have it one. No, we're going to be 200 short, aren't we? Yep. No, we're going to be 200 short. We can use equip spells. Taya really likes Mokuba. I'll play as every character. I don't mind switching to get, like, unique dialogue. We can play as every... I think I have all the characters except Scud. And by the way, uh, I have no interest in unlocking Scud. I'm sure I'll do it just to do it, you know, because I, I want to unlock all the characters at some point. But, uh, no. I can't believe Scud is even an unlockable character. How is Scud unlockable and Agami isn't? Seriously, that, that seems crazy to me. Damn, they really made her, uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Uh, grind it up with Sarah. We don't really need to. I mean, we already have the defense charge skill, so. Alright. There's so many Watt. Dude, like, I mean seriously, man, as a Duel Links guru, how how on how on earth does that happen? How do they allow Watt to, uh, not how do they allow Watt? How do they allow Scud? Sorry, I just compared you to Scud. How do they allow Scud to be a, a freaking character in this in this uh, world, man? Come on. 
Scud needs to be yeeted out of this game. That's right. He absolutely does. Um, all right. I don't know what deck we have as Kaiba. So let's, let's see. Oh, yikes. Okay, let me, um... Hold on. We might actually have the Luna Light deck. I might just have to copy it over real quick. No, we have it. Yeah, we have it. Again, a lot of these decks are just objective decks. Um, yeah. Objective to inflict effect damage. What are we missing? We're missing a, um... Hey, Trunade, I think. Hey there, Trunade. What's it like in Battle City? All right. Yeah, we'll make that active. We'll go into it with the, the Lunas. What up, bro? Dude, Watt, you're the man. I'm not one to care much about the dialogue between the characters, but the writing with Kaiba was pretty funny. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Kaiba and Taya interaction. I'm looking forward to this. Hey, Kaiba! <laughs> Long time no see. I haven't seen you around school. Are you going to show up for graduation? I always... Um, what a waste of time, of course. Won't you regret it if you don't get to say your goodbyes? Seto Kaiba never has regrets. Regrets don't have the power to defeat me, Kaiba. Oh, we're doing it on level 40. All right, that's fine. I, I, I can't with Kaiba, dude. No chill. He's literally got no chill, man. I feel like, though, he was always... He was always kind of nice to Taya in the small interactions they had, right? I, I never felt like he was... Whatever they didn't interact that much, though. Me, you better not waste my time by holding back. Dude, Eric Stewart delivered these my lines turn. so well, man. Your dueling never ceases to surprise me. <laughs> uh, we don't have a good hand. Do I want a Come bird draw with Emerald Bird? I'm gonna... This is level 40, so I actually have to take this one a little more seriously. Um... I'm gonna pl I'm gonna slow play it. I just hope I don't get OTK. I don't know how good the level 40 deck is. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we still have to do Joey. We still have to do Yugi and Mokuba. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, DSOD world is pretty small right now. Uh, we're gonna take a bit of a beating here. We're gonna be okay though. We're not gonna get OTK. Uh, I think we should be able to hit an OTK if we draw Fox. No. Um, okay, well, let's obviously be got it. Oh, no, I should have should have summoned White Rabbit. That was stupid. Should have summoned White Rabbit first to get Bird from Grave. Hey, you know what? Still making misplays. That's that's never going to change. That literally will never change. I, I'll make misplays until I die. Um, no, contrary to popular belief, I do not hate Kaiba. I know a lot of people think I hate Kaiba. I do not hate Kaiba. I think Kaiba's, you know, as I said in my theory video, I think he's... A wicked character. I think he's an incredible character, but no, I do not hate him. He's, he's a very fascinating character. This is going pretty well. Uh, I don't. I don't believe we can, Luz. I don't believe we can uh, unlock Taya right now. I thought we could. I was wrong about that, uh, as is usually the case. I think we can win right here. All right, we're gonna send to grave. Get foxes. Uh, no, we can't. Right, because we're not. Okay. I thought we could get foxes effect off. That's alright, that's probably the still the better play to do that. Yep, she'll be unlockable on 29th. And for all up-to-date news on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, follow Watt007 on YouTube. He's right in the chat. You'll never you'll never have an easier time following anyone. Alright. Well we're I think we're in good shape. She's only got three cards in the hand. Oh, she's got the magician girls in this. Oh god, I hate the magician. Man. Uh, yeah, Cal and I like a lot. I wish the um, I wish the Infernities were a little better because I would have loved to build an Infernity deck. Uh, just just to play as Kiedu. I, I like Kiedu a lot. Yeah, I can't really attack, right? I really I really don't know how to go up against Magician Girls. Like, I, I just don't. Because, like, I know you're not supposed to attack, but then, like, what do you do? Like, it's, uh... Alright, let's spam this field real quick. Let me read the effects again. 
Um, yeah, so we're going to be targeting for an attack. You can change this card's battle position if you do special summon one. Um, but then they can keep, like, having my monster's attack points, can't they? Nah, let's just do it. Actually, no, right. She can't special if her field's full. That's a good point. So we'll actually wait one more time. And again, we have Wall of D, so if things get dicey, I think we'll still be okay. Yeah, we can attack this big boy, so it was probably better to wait. He's going to attack White Rabbit, I'd imagine. Yep, we're going to do Wall of D. I think we got this. Dude, why, if we get Crash Town Kiadu, that would be incredible. Oh, that was kind of stupid. Emmanuel, how you doing, my man? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, Crash Town Kiadu, man. Crash Town was one of my favorite arcs. So I'm, uh, that would be awesome if we get him next month. That would be really, really cool. Did we only have... Oh my god, I didn't realize how little life points we had. Why didn't I switch Rabbit to defense? <sighs> that was stupid. I, I genuinely did not realize how much damage he did to us on that first turn where we just were slow playing. That was really bad. Well, <laughs> as said Okaiba, we lost to, uh, to Taya. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. All right, let's just go to Mokuba. Let's just go to Mokuba. I imagine we have to use those EX gems. Does Taya just disappear now? Wait, when does Taya come back? Oh, she doesn't even. Oh, she doesn't even have the magician girls that have the attack. Well, now I feel like an idiot. I, I figured she did. We have to do it at the gate. Thank you guys. All right. So now we have to use the uh, the keys. Oh right, it's the it's the it's the event gate. That's right. I knew that. Um. Oh, so this is where the ice cream comes into play. I didn't know where the ice cream came into play. But she's only level 10 right now. Hold on, I want to read this. Mokuba? You look a lot more sharp than the last time I saw you. I can't be a kid wearing striped shirts forever. I'm vice president of Kaiba Corp now. Oh boy. So I gotta look like a businessman. But you look so cute with that yellow vest. Don't call me cute. Only kids are cute. I'm handsome. But you're still a kid. I'm not a kid. <laughs> oh wow. Taya really... She's just a friendly girl. She, just, she really is just a friendly character. I know Taya gets a lot of hate. I, I've always really liked Taya. I, I always liked her. I thought her role in Duel Monsters was was good. Like, she was a support character. When she had to duel, she dueled. And she beat Crump. You know? Don't sleep on Taya. Um, but no, I, I, I always liked Taya. I was always a fan of her. Goose! Thank you so much, dude, for the donation, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, dude. You know I'm dropping that goose emote every time from now on. Uh, yeah, we'll do Wall of D. So, yeah, thank you for the donation. Hey, man, spreading some positivity here to everyone. I can't believe that Kaiba is 17, 18 years old, and he created such a successful, prestigious company. Yeah, it's insane. Then again, it's just anime, right? I mean, we can just chalk it up to anime. Um, but no, in all seriousness, Kaiba is just the man. Uh, and... Yeah, he's a he's a genius. He really is a genius. I activate my monster's effect. Yeah, she is a cheerleader, Watt. But what? Have you watched the um have you watched Duel Monsters subbed or have you only seen the um the English dub? Because I feel like there is a bit of a difference between her character and the two versions. I mean she's still ultimately a, a cheerleader character. Looks like this duel then I'll do over. this. Yeah, see, I, I I found her to be le less annoying in the in the original version. So yeah, in the dub when I first watched, I I wasn't really big on her, but I I liked her a lot more in the in the sub version. So that could be why. But I mean, again, her role doesn't change that much. She still is a cheerleader character. Sub five Ds, man, that's where it's at. So I guess we just have to keep doing the gate. Um. Yeah, we'll keep doing the gate. We can't get the special, uh, the special conversation, so I'll just stay as Mokuba right now. Yeah, final season of GX Sub, season four of GX. That was always my first, uh, 
My first Yu-Gi-Oh anime subbed. That was my first anime subbed. Is that you? So maybe that's why I always will uh will love season four of GX. My turn. I draw. Um, well, very good starting hands. We'll actually successfully do the bird to Martin combo that we have not been doing well at all. Uh, I think we can get a pretty good board here. I think we can get two cats. Do I want to do two cats, though, or... Uh, yeah, I'll do two cats. Actually, I think we can get a cat and a saber, yeah. Yeah, we can get a cat and a saber. That is a great board. Probably the best board you can make with Luna's. Alright, beautiful. Uh, I believe we have the... No, we're going to be 100 life points short. That's alright. Damn, that's, that's Lunalite Overkill, man. I love it. I love it. That's right, Isaac. Thank you for coming by. What do you think about Zane? I, I always loved Zane. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I love Zane. Zane is a great character. His arc is really, really solid. Gonna deal some as much damage as possible. Actually, we're not because we're gonna deal the hundred anyway. Yeah, Zane is good. Zane, Zane's one of my favorites from GX. Um, one of those characters that, like, if he was actually in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc Five, which again, it's so annoying because we know he exists in the universe. I've done a, a whole theory on it, uh, but you know, we know for a fact he exists in the Arc Five universe, and so it's so annoying that he didn't show up. It's so annoying that a second Zexel character didn't um, show up either. Like, it's just... Man. Those two things could have really helped the show. Well, there was... There was a lot that needed to happen that would have helped the show. Um, so, I, I don't know about that. I, I don't, I, you know, maybe I'm out of my lane to say that. Had Rio been there, or had, you know, Quattro been there, it would have, or Shark, it would have saved Arc 5. That's probably... Probably not true. There had to be a lot. We're going to play with Yugi, but I need to um, copy a deck. Actually, I can do it right here, can't I? I always go to the Duel Studio, but yeah, you can just do it right here. Uh, DSOD, Luna Light, copy, uh, DSOD, Yugi. I've never played as DSOD Yugi. Never played as him. So this will be a first. This is not a good deck. Um... We need Sphere Karibo. Why was Red Eyes Black Dragon? By the way, I'm sure everyone saw the errata, right, with Red Eyes Black Dragon. That now instead of it saying Red Eyes B Dragon, it says Black. It's going to take me a while to get used to that. That's uh, That was a pretty major change. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? It, it just looks weird to me. Looks really weird to me. Taya, did you build your own deck? Of course, and here's my go-to card. Hey, Dark Magician Girl. Yup, and I used your tips to build a great deck around her. But it might be too similar to your deck, Yugi. Nah, we play in Luna Lights, girl. Even if they contain similar cards, we play differently. Then let's see which one of us plays better. Sure, it's time to duel. Hey, you know what? For going up against the King of Games, I give her credit. I really do. Not easy. Not easy to do. Yeah, I don't know why it was changed. Does anyone know why it was changed? Was it some sort of ruling? Like, why did they change it so that black was spelled out instead of being abbreviated? I'm not gonna lose, Yugi. I was wondering the same thing. Broken V Gaming. Dude, that is a really nice donation. Thank you so much, dude. I love watching your Duel Links live streams. You to man. I'm happy you enjoy them, dude. And thank you so much for that donation, dude. That is a really, really nice donation. Uh, and I really do appreciate it. And I'm, I'm glad you enjoy them. You know, if people get enjoyment from watching my streams, I I can't really ask for anything else. So, thank you, man, and I hope we have a, a fun night tonight. And seriously, I, I appreciate the donation. You're the best, man. You are the best. Um, timeline video. Yeah, I'm going to do it at some point. 
I've just kind of lost, um, I gotta be honest with you guys, you know, I, I, I always am as transparent as possible, I've just kind of lost motivation in the last couple of months to do any sort of, like, creative videos. I uploaded, I feel like, a, a pretty cool video today that was, like, not Sevens related and not, like, too generic of a video, but I haven't done a scripted video besides the one today in a very long time, uh, and I just, I've recently just enjoyed streaming more, um, and that's why this is my fifth stream this week, and it's, it's only Thursday. I've streamed every day this week, and I, like, I really, really like it. I think I... The thing that I like the most about it is the interaction I can do with you guys, where I'm chilling here for a few hours and I get to talk to you guys uh, and build that connection, and I, I really do love that. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't I don't know what's going to happen with, like, you know, scripted content. I'm still going to do it, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, if, if my heart's not in it, I don't want to push myself um, to do it. You know what I mean? I don't want to, like put out half-assed content, I guess. And so, uh, that's really it. I do take, believe it or not, I do take pride in my content. I know it might not seem it with, you know, how lackluster my editing is at times, but, uh, no, it, it is true. And so there's a lot of times where I'll, like, think of an idea or a theory, and I'll really, like, doubt myself. And it's that self-doubt that really holds me back from uploading more like transcendent, not transcendent videos, but more like innovative and cool videos. Um, and, and that's that's really the problem. I have to get over that. I think that's the hardest uh, step for any sort of content creator, whether you're an artist, uh, you know, defeating those inner demons. And even doing YouTube for four or five years, I still have those hesitations. A video that I was very close to not uploading was my theory about why the previous protagonists are not in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. I, like, finished that video and I was like, I think this video is going to get so much hate. Like, I don't think this is going to be a good video. Um, I don't think people are going to like it. Like, I think this is going to go really horribly. And that, as well as the timeline, is one of the reasons why my channel got to be as popular as it is. Um, so, like, if I never uploaded that video, who knows where I'd be right now. Um, so, like, I do understand that I, I just need to get over that. But it's hard. It, it's hard, man. I think every content creator struggles with that to a degree. KP! KP, you really are the best. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Um, donates again five minutes later. I need a channel icon. Well, Kay, I wish I was an artist and I could help you. You're a great, you're Kay, you're a great artist. You could definitely draw a channel icon yourself. I, I like the your channel icon right now. Um, now you'll, you'll figure something out, okay? I, I think you look good. Your profile pic looks good right now. But, yeah, every now and then you gotta change it up. And right now, the, the big issue that... And, okay, seriously, thank you again for the donation. Um, nice, Yugi. This is why I know you'll achieve your dreams. She, she's, she's so supportive, man. I won! <laughs> this is why I know you'll achieve your dreams. Hooray! Such a Chad, dude. Um... No, and I, I do appreciate the support from everyone, and, uh, yeah, th thank you guys so much. Alright, let's see the, uh, ooh, another 22,000. Let's go, baby. We're flying through this. Uh, okay, yeah, level 40, I imagine, is gonna be the big one. So let's get interaction with Joey Wheeler, Jonochi, as they say. Do we have Luna Lights? Nope. Copy. DSOD. Yugi. Copy. DSOD. Joey. Yeah, but Kay, you should just use your, um... You know, you could always whip up something, a new drawing or something. Cheap Master 55, of course I do. I seldom forget a name. I seldom forget a name. Thanks for coming by. Um, yeah, the one issue that, like, I'm having right now is I really want to change my channel name. Like, recently, like, I've really come to, like, I, I, I really regret. Oh, like, the stickers, right. Well, I, right now my stickers are, um, are, are filled. If I get more channel members, you get more stickers. That's how it works. But let me read this. It's great to see you, Taya. What? Anyway, are you making... <laughs> She's not having any of it. Are you making headway to becoming a new pro? Yes. Liar. <laughs> I'm not lying. My name's spreading like wildfire throughout Duel Links. 
I like how they they text it too. So you, they really want you to speak it with that like New York accent. Me cry? Did you forget? And that's true, by the way. That's canon. Taya in the first, I think it was the first or second episode of Duel Monsters, beat Joey in a duel. So this is canon. Taya does have his number. That was a long time ago. At least he admits it. By the way, Tristan and Bakora told me they're coming soon. Oh, oh, is that a little, uh, is that a little foreshadow right there? Are we getting DSOD Tristan and DSOD Bakora? That's really cool. If that's, a, if that's like kind of a foreshadow right there. Um, yes, it is. That's awesome. And what you would know. So, oh, that's cool. That's really sick, man. That's really sick. I like that. I like how they, they kind of hinted at that, at new characters coming. That's really sick. And it fits, obviously, because Tristan and Bakora are uh, you know, in the in the story. Duel Links already has renders for DSD, but Kora and Tristan. Let's do it, baby. I love it. How could they my add Scud be before those characters, duelist. though? That's what's crazy and to I'll me. Make my dream a reality. I mean, that really is nuts. Do you really think you can become a pro duelist, Joey? Duel! My turn. Her voice does sound a little... Yeah, her voice does sound a little different. I don't know if that's her... her the voice that... Did they, what was her voice actor? It wasn't, um, Erica. Erica Schroeder. Was it Erica Schroeder? I think that was Aki and Mai. Who's her voice actress? Oh, it's gonna kill me. I know one of you guys will let me know. I end my turn. Um, my turn. Amy Barrow. Yes, Amy. I draw. That's right. Um, what are we doing here? Going We're just going through our big boy. I activate a spell. Our big gal, as we should say. This is the one I want. I fusion summon my monster. I activate my monster. Nicholas spell. Horton, my man. Thank you for a donation, dude. Uh, I seriously I appreciate want. it. I think the uh, events of Zark and Ray happened sometime again. after 5Ds. Attack. Um, that's true. I also saw that Arash asked about the, um, the timeline. Tay was voiced by Veronica Taylor. Right, Veronica Taylor. That was the name. Who did, who did Amy voice? From my hand, I activate a spell. Come on out. I'll special summon a monster. She did voice someone in New Deal, right? Oh, in DSOD. Okay, right, that's right. They, they changed the voice. Oh, right. They changed the voice actress. That's right. Or is it? No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now now, now I gotta look it up. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. And Nicholas, I will address your donation. Veronica Taylor. I always got my... Yeah, no, Veronica Taylor wasn't Taya. No, it, it was Amy. Veronica Taylor in Duel Monsters was Chris and Kenta. Yeah, okay. That name sounded familiar. She's definitely done... Right, she had a lot of roles in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and she was Carly in 5Ds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I had to fact check that. I got a few different names thrown at me, but it was Amy. Um, what are we doing here? We're going to do Bird. Uh, let's do the draw. Let's do the draw. Um, but Nicholas, yeah, you know, I so I said that, and thank you again, Nicholas. I said that Zark and Ray in my timeline theory was a, um, obviously that Arc 5 was on a different alternate path to where 5Ds was, and Nicholas, you're kind of um, saying that you think it's on the same timeline. Now, with everything that we know, especially with the Arc 5 manga, I personally believe, and I'm gonna do this when I update my timeline theory, I know it's kind of boring. Arc 5, I think it's in, I think it's, in its own continuity. I, I don't think, and I know a lot of people will probably disagree with that because of all the characters being like revived, but I just think it's its own canon that just took inspiration from the other shows. Um, that, that's kind of where I am with it. And I actually think, funny enough, that the Arc 5 manga is canon on the anime timeline. And the reason I think the Arc 5 manga is canon on the anime timeline, and I know that gets confusing because when I do my updated timeline theory, I'm going to do the manga verse and the anime verse. We know there's two different universes because in one Pegasus dies and another Pegasus doesn't. And there's plenty of other things that we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! manga verse. Actually, Dark Side of Dimensions falls on the manga verse and a Yu-Gi-Oh! anime verse. Um, and Arc 5's manga is in the anime verse. 
it absolutely is in the anime verse if you're following along because when Eve summons all of these, you know, the Time Lord, which is in reference to Zoan, I think a Sacred Beast, right, which is in reference to, she summons, or is it a, a Darkness Monster? I forget what she summons. Um, and then obviously she summons, a, a, I think, a Chaos Imaginary number. Um, but all references to the final bosses of GX, 5Ds, and Zexel. So... It, it, that right there makes Arc 5's manga canon to the anime somehow. So I'll have to figure that out, but that's that's something that, you know, I'll let you guys know right now. will definitely be discussed in my uh, updated timeline whenever that does come out. It will come out. I just got to, um... I just got to release it, essentially. And K, thank you for the donations. Japanese Bakura says Sori wa dokena. Well, then I need to get the Japanese audio. I seriously do. Uh, although the dub audio is kind of fun to listen to for meme purposes. But I probably should get the Japanese audio. And uh, thank you for another donation, Kay, spoiling me tonight. Can't wait for Zexa World news in September. Me neither. Uh, yeah, when Zexa World comes out, I will definitely be streaming it a lot. Although I think the dueling streams will probably be something that I try to do maybe two or three times every week. So... Um, I'll probably be doing them all the way up until Zexal World comes out. Zexal World will be great, but okay, seriously, thank you for the, uh, the donations. I do appreciate it massively. Yeah, I know, so I can't even get... Well, there's a mod you can get, right? You can get a mod, what? Is that true or not? You can get a mod, uh, a mod. Right, well, now I know that she doesn't have the Magician Girls, as someone kindly told me, that halves the attack, so I can just attack straight through these things. Yeah. Yeah, I've never tried it either. Yeah, nothing to worry about, Taya. I'm on my A-game! I'm on my A-game! There we go, baby. Whew. And if we get really lucky, movie in 2004, movie in 2010, movie in 2016, movie in 2022. If that was going to happen, that would need to get announced within the next, like, the next, like, six months, probably. Probably not going to happen. Uh, look at those points. We just doubled real quick. Sigh. I lost. I need to practice more. It's okay, Tiger. We all still love you. Um, I wanted to... Oh, does Dark Magician Girl have a um, an animation? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, literally had no idea. I had no idea that Dark Magician Girl had a new animation. I'm so sorry. I literally had, I swear on my life, I had no idea. I, I was just, I spam clicked through all of that. I had no idea. Okay, well, we will duel her again, and I will not skip it. So thank you for letting me know. Um, I, 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 I genuinely had no idea. I'm so sorry about that. And I call myself a streamer. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll just play as Sarah because that's the Let's character I kind of want to power up. Um, that's crazy. I, I, I do want to read this, though. I want to see what the rewards are. Like, how deep does this go? Three eighty are the sleeves. Oh, those are cool sleeves. And that mat is sick. Witchcrafter Jenny probably not how you say the name. All right, let's just go back in. We're going to get that. We're going to get that Dark Magician animation. We're going to get that animation. I apologize. I, I really had no idea. Solid snack. How you doing? Yeah, DSODT. <laughs> I'm spilling the tea on, on Dark Side of Dimensions and why it was a complete failure. We no, no, Dark Side of Dimensions was great. And I didn't update my deck, dude. I... Yeah, let me start with two yellow luster soldiers. I didn't update. I didn't change. Well, you know what? We just want to see Dark Magician Girl. Oh my god, and I get the other... Okay. No, the movie was really good. I mean, this is, this is horrible. This is really horrible. Again, I was trying to do an objective where you had to play a bunch of continuous spells to advance the stages, and... Stop. I'll use my face down. 
I, I'm gonna try to win. I'm gonna try to come back from this atrocity. Oh right, this effect goes off if you target it for an. Oh, that was stupid. I should have waited. Okay, not gonna skip. Tell you looking good. That was good. That was good. Uh, that, that was cool. She was skipping along there until she went into her. That was cool. Yeah, that, that's a cool animation. Um, we will survive, but there's nothing we can do. Like, we don't have a chance to win. But we'll survive. I, I didn't want to surrender, but, like, I should have just surrendered because we don't have a chance to win. Let's see. I, mean, I might as well play these. Funny if we drew Martin, we could have actually defended with 2600 defense. I don't think she can get over it. We can destroy DMG. Oh, Kiwi Magician Girl, dude. Dude, how annoying is that? Alright, we lost. <laughs> we lost. A horrible hand. Really bad hand. But it's because the deck is atrocious. I mean, when you have eight horrible equipped spells, what do you expect? That was a wash. A waste of ice cream. And wasting ice cream should be a sin. That that's a that's horrific. Alright. Don't even want to see that. Let me um change this deck. I, I mean again I had the equip spells in. Yeah, three of these, three of these, there we go. I will do as you do. Alright, we'll do as you do. And this week someone applauded you for thinking you believe the pandemic is a hoax. What? I, when did I say that? I've, I've, I've taken COVID very seriously. I don't know if that's a, if that's a, a mean comment, but no, I, I, no, I've no, I've never called the pandemic a hoax. That is completely untrue. And S, how you doing? Thanks for coming by. I'm not gonna lose Yugi. Duel! It's my turn. Come out, Fairy Magician Girl! Fairy Magician Girl adds a magician girl to my hand. This honestly is not a great hand either. Although I'm setting a cup, I end my turn. It's my turn. Check the comment section of yesterday's podcast. I actually want to do this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna do this. Because I, I addressed the whole thing because there were people that were like, why are you together? New Jersey, when it comes to COVID, is fine. And we, for three months, we literally did nothing. Um, and we, you know, now we feel like the state is at a point where we all feel comfortable hanging out. So I really want to um, look at that real quick. Hold on. Crazy people in the comments. I just want to see who it was. Oh, it was just someone being a dick. I'm just glad you all weren't wearing masks or social distancing for the coronavirus hoax to destroy our freedoms and country. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's just someone being a dick. Yeah, all right. Uh, that that's typical on YouTube. Moron. So I I literally was I literally was self isolated from every single person outside of my family and Kate for two and a half months. And if it was still bad in New Jersey, I would have kept isolating. No, I did my part. I wear masks everywhere. I go out. But, you know, you get comments like that. So what are you going to do? Here I go. There's a lot of comments. A lot of, a lot of just... From my hand, I activate a people trying to get a rise out of you. This'll do. I'll special summon a monster. Um, do I want to use Tretch yet? Oh, now I might... No, I'll wait it out a little bit. Yeah, if you're in like Texas or Florida, Arizona, Mississippi, I mean it's it's bad in a lot of states. I, I please do your best to stay safe. Um, yeah, it's it's tough, man. It, I feel I feel really bad for people that are in those states. That's the same situation that we were in. Um, 
I don't have anything right now to go into my big plays. So yeah, do, just do your best to stay safe and healthy. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's been it's been rough for the, the country. Yeah. Positive vibe from Central PA. I'm in Central Jersey, so you know, I got that Central. Yeah. I know to see that there are so many countries like that that have just completely basically gotten rid of it, and we're just. We're just, we're just going along. I mean, it really is. Uh, it's exhausting. It really is exhausting. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, you can only control what you do. Yeah, New Zealand had a sporting event like a week ago with a stadium packed with fans because they did what they had to do. But, you know, you just you can only control yourself. And, yeah. You know. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked my... I only really did the uh, that one Pokemon stream. But, um... Thank you, Father. I'm <laughs> I like that username. Thank you. I'm glad you uh, you liked that stream. I'm, I'm surprised that stream did as well as it did. Yeah, 2020 has just been bad. It's been really bad. Just a crappy year. It's my turn. Yeah, Lunar Lights can be tough, Isaac. Lunar Lights can be really, really tough. The one deck that I feel like destroys Lunar Lights is Six Sam because of the defense. Um, and because of the defense, it's just it's very hard to get off any sort of OTK. We'll watch the uh, summoning method. Maximiliano, I see you, man. All the way from Argentina. Thank you for coming by, dude. Yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, you know. All you, all you can do right now is stay distanced and take the precautions that you can take and hope that people follow along. Okay, I'm just going to use Treacherous. Here's my face down card. Wait, I what? My oh my god. Whose effect? <laughs> Are you kidding, dude? We just... <sighs> I Again, I don't I don't know Magician Girls. I'm not that's good. That, that's the... At the end of the day, I'm just not a good player. Are you, come on, man. We're gonna lose again. We do have Wall of D. Oh my god, but she is... Please, get another monster onto the field. Get another monster. Okay, beautiful. Alright, Wall of D is gonna... Wall, okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, perfect. But will Wall of D even affect them? Okay, it does. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Jeez. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still in good shape. Yeah, people like you and I, Kay, you know, it's always, it's always a struggle for us. It's always gonna be a struggle. Right, because Wall of D doesn't target, gotcha. That's so funny, dude. I just treached my... <laughs> I treached my whole board. Proxy Van Dirk, how you doing? Really good to hear from you, man. I treched my whole board. So frustrating. I know. I, I, I like to think most Yu-Gi-Oh players read. I'm like one of the only ones that doesn't. But maybe that's a true thing. Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read. Uh, Luna Light Seth comes in... Judgment? Is it the Judgment one? I'm, I, it might be the judgment one. What or someone else can confirm what pack Luna Light comes in. And I can't think of the full name. I just think of judgment. Judgment Force. I think that's what Luna Lights were in. No, effect can't go off. We might as well get rid of it now. Judgment Force. Yes. Thank you, Walt. Believe in the heart of the cards. Marcella, you're right. Well, now we're just gonna burn her away. Duel Link's meta. That guy. That, that that. By the way, that guy. I've I've I haven't seen one of his videos yet. Although I was I was actually watching his stream for the first time ever a little bit on Twitch today. Um, and 
Yeah, what he's done, like, with, with like, the website and everything, dude, like, I, I'm envious, man. Like, he really has done some amazing crap with his channel, like, and his just whole being. Like, it, it, it's really, um, it's really cool. Like, I, I, he really has done some awesome stuff. Like, I'm really just jealous. Like, that site is so cool. Like, you can simulate opening packs on his site. Like, that is, like, that's the coolest thing. Um, so yeah, that, that's really awesome. But yeah, outside of Brad, YouTube, Dan, and Watt, I haven't really watched many YouTubers. I, Galaxy, I've watched a little bit of as well. Um, it's my turn. I draw. Oh, is DK and Duel Links meta the same person? I end my turn. Wow, my that just blew my mind. That really just blew my mind. That's like finding out Childish Gambino and uh, Donald Glover are the same person. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I literally, I, I didn't know that. I didn't realize. I thought his name was Zulix Meta. Um, Naruto, I love TGS anime. Yeah, TGS anime is like some like I he's like my probably my biggest inspiration um, when I make content. Like, great guy. Um, really nice dude, but beyond that, his content is so, like, innovative. Um, I always quote the one video that he did, where he, uh, he did a video where he, he tested the trick if, um, if my Valentine's perfume would work, and, like, he sprayed perfume on the cards. Like, he does, his content is so innovative, uh, and he really just uploads, like, fearless stuff, like, the, uh, the statistical videos are really cool, and... Awesome dude. I, I don't have a bad word to say about TGS anime. Really, really awesome dude. British accent, I mean, that's always a bonus, no matter what. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I like TGS anime a lot. I really do look up to him. Yeah, really cool guy. Have you ever met him, Watt? Didn't you meet... Or maybe... I might be... Maybe I'm getting confused with something else. Maybe Bra Brad definitely met him. Yeah, it was, not that I was getting you confused with Brad. I just thought maybe you were, um, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, Konami in Europe really does, um, some great stuff with the community over there. I guess it's harder in the States because, you know, the States are massive, but, um, yeah, I feel like Konami in Europe brings in content creators every, like, two weeks. Not two weeks, like two months. I know, World. I, I, I was interested to see if I was going to get invited to Worlds. I was surprised I was invited to the Duel Links tournament, not to play in it, but just to be there, uh, which was really cool. Um, yeah, that surprised me. What is this? I'm not going to duel with you, Gabe. Um, let me duel as a little Sarah. Let's create a new world together. Let's do this. I don't know what this is. What uh, what event this is? Is this part of the Taya event? Is this a completely different event? So like, do you have the Taya event, the Edo event, and the um that line? I know I can't take that line seriously. Yugi, maybe you can join the Plana too. It's part of the Taya event. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? It's my are you? Turn. Aigami's sister? Alright, let's do our Emerald draw. I like that, Philip. I like that, uh, that energy, bro. Yeah, that, that's good. It's always good to set the bar high. I always respect people when they do that. Ooh, good draw, but we're not gonna go into it. You got it, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vesper. Enjoy it. I hope that video gets uploaded nice and clean. Ah, uh, Blue Medicine. It was meta back in 2001, so you can laugh all you want. Blue Medicine, Red Medicine, meta in 2001. A lot of people forget that. It was not meta in 2001. Alright, I think we're gonna... I think we have the OTK here. I don't even think we need to do this. Do this. Voice cracks all the time. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay, because we can still get Crimson Fox's effect off, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, Aki and Sarah. Although, I, I do like to play as Pegasus. But Sarah with Super Heavy Sams. I need to make a better deck with Aki. Like, I have Aki at, like, level 34 or something. But I need to make a better deck with her. That Luna Light OTK. Luna Light's for life, bruh. 
Luna lights for life. Let's go, baby. Will you main Kiadu? If I have a deck for him, I would. Infernities I know aren't really a thing um, in this game. Or not a viable thing. But I, d I definitely will be leveling him up. Alright, so apparently there's a scene that we're gonna get. Okay, okay. I don't know anything about this scene, but people said this was like, memories of my friends at the mall. What are you looking at there, Yugi? Oh, this article? It's about those bullies that were messing with Aigami. It says here they all just disappeared without a trace. Well, that's not a uh, a good thing, is it? Maybe it is, depending on who you ask. Are they still missing? There's been a whole bunch of these cases around here. No way, who's doing this? To be honest, I felt that someone's been watching us. Dude, Bakura, I mean, I know like the spirit of the Millennium Ring is gone, but like Bakura to me is still one of like the sketchiest characters in this universe. And so if he ever told me like, yeah, someone's watching us. I'd believe him. It's just your fan club, Bakura. <laughs> oh? <laughs> it's the accent. It is the accent! I People wonder why Brad is, is so loved. It's the accent, man. My god, he, he's such a one-up on all of us. The accent is, is... It works wonders, dude. I'm glad that someone else brought it up. There he is, dude. When can we unlock him? Uh, when can we unlock him? And he's not even gonna say anything. Man. Alright, um, is DSOD Yugi still out here? Or do we have to go back in the gate? Back to the gate. In the gate again. I just can't wait to be in the gate again. Duelist, so I will challenge you to a duel. Very it's observant, duel. Sarah. Wow, turn. that was great. That was oh my god. I'm happy. I'm proud to main you. Uh, I'm just gonna still my play it. My turn. Done. I draw. Come out, fairy magician just gonna... girl. I'm setting a battle. Fairy magician girl. Attack. My turn. My turn. Okay. That is fine. I draw. Uh. Ugh. I mean, we could do an emerald draw, but right now we're not in danger, so. Here I go. Big brain Sarah, yeah. Two more live streams. Yeah, I, I mean, this is our fifth one in four days. Fifth stream in four days, so I feel like we've been on a good track. Alright, uh, aka. Enjoy cutting the grass, my friend. Witchcraft or Patron? From my hand, I activate a quick come on out. I'll special summon a monster. Now, a uh, if she can counter this, control. we're done. Alright, beautiful. My turn. Okay, now now we should be able Oh my god, dude. Seriously? Three Luna fusions? I, we gotta draw one. Uh, we're gonna get here now we're gonna get Polly. I'm telling you we're gonna get regular Polly right here. I'm telling you. Uh, we get the other trap. We get the second trap. I think we've gotten all the spells and trap cards that are in the deck. That's unbelievable. That really is unbelievable. I mean, we're in a good situation still, I feel like, but... Jesus, man. This is a bad brick. Really bad brick. We don't have unlimited amount of level 40 duels. But I still think we're okay. I mean, we're gonna get a, uh, a monster on the next draw. That's a guarantee unless we get a fusion. Brick City, bro. We have Wall of D. So, special summon another monster, please. Thank you very much. Beautiful. We will Wall of D that. This is bad. All right, well, we're good now. I actually. Oh, I should have. Why didn't I Luna Light Fusion, dude? Why didn't I? 
No, continue your main phase. Yes. Why would I hit no to that? I activate a continuous trap. It's like I, I mean I do feel like it's sometimes I'm, I'm subconsciously trying to lose these duels. I draw. Come on out. I'll summon a monster. Horrible, atrocious, dude. Yeah, if, if anyone actually came from Duel Links meta stream to this, I apologize. Because I'm sure you probably saw really good Duel Links play. Um, and now you have to watch this, which is an atrocity. Oh, man, we're in a lot of trouble. We need to draw a white rabbit. These witchcraft are lollies, dude. are getting the best of us. We gotta do a bird draw. We've got to do a bird draw. We've got to literally know. We gotta. We gotta send our second Luna Light Fusion to Grave. Come on. Okay. Okay. Um. From my hand, I activate a spell From my hand. All right. I think we're fine. Cat Dancer. We will use birds in fact. We'll use as many monsters as we can get. Um, can we get the win here? We might be able to get the win. Then I'll do this. Okay. I'll special summon a monster. So I should have hit the first time. No win. No win. Close, but no win. Unless there's some effect that'll be activated from this. I don't think there will be though. Nope. Okay. Not not a win yet, but we're still in very good shape. Uh, comebacks for the win. That's right. This is bad. I, <laughs> Dude, that line is so funny. This is bad. All right. I think we've won. Down effect didn't go off. Yeah, yeah. It seems like if we can get cat, we win. So this is actually a pretty good deck for this event. Yeah, it's a good comeback after that brick. Jesus. I'd like the dual score to be a little higher. It's all right. Take the gems. We'll keep going along. I'll just keep doing this until we're out of ice cream. Then maybe we'll do some rank duels. Maybe. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, the voice acting just for whatever reason does sound a little different. It does sound a little different. For Taya. I don't know why. I don't know Hearts why that is. Our fate. If you're ready, I'm good to go. Duel! My turn. What are her insults? Do you have the courage to step beyond what's possible? Oh, that's right. It's D.Va in the dub. I always forget that. I shall erase you from existence. What the hell, dude? She's such a... She smiles when she says that. That's terrifying. You can't exist if no one remembers you. Oh, my God. Her lines are, are horrifying. <laughs> and then she goes, do not succumb to revenge. Meanwhile, she's talking about literally, like, erasing people from existence. Oh, my God. I never, I never thought to check Sarah's lines. Jesus Christ, man. Sheesh. <laughs> what the hell? She's like, how old is Sarah? Seriously. I gotta look that up. She's, she can't be older than 10. Do we know her age? We probably don't know her age. Yeah, we don't know her age. Well, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh characters, you don't know their age. Especially, I mean, she wasn't that important of a character. I can sure use your help, Dark Magician Girl. Definitely soon, Mr. Lizard. Definitely soon. When I do duel, the stream will be titled Dueling uh, the Chat or Dueling Fans or something like that. Um, and it'll be like a few hours just dedicated to dueling you guys. So that, that will happen at some point. I, I promise. Um, I haven't even been playing for a month yet. So, again, as I said when I first started, I want to still get in the swing of things for a bit. That is a good point, Swaggity Swag. She should Dark be a few thousand years old. Ah, attack. shoot. Dark burning attack. Uh, well. 
No, I'm not gonna touch it. I can't, right, it can't be destroyed by battle, so why would I touch it? Why would I touch it? We'll just chill. Should have switched it to defense. Hopefully she summons another monster. No. Dark Link, how you doing? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm just gonna... Well, okay, let me put this in defense position. Oh, I think I... Well, that was stupid. I could have sent Fox to Grave, get this effect to zero, and then win the duel. Literally win the duel. I could have won the duel right there. Okay, well, I can do the same thing right there. Okay, um... So, unless I'm missing something, but we're gonna summon Bird. I always like to say this out loud, so if I miss something, you guys can tell me why it didn't work. We're gonna not do that. We're gonna send Fox to Grave to get Fox's effect off. And then we're gonna send Dark Magician's attack to the Shadow Realm. Beautiful. And then we're gonna sacrifice Bird, so our lovely dancer can attack twice, and I think that's, that's game. Does she have something in hand? She does, right? Nope. Okay. Those noises are... <laughs> those noises are strayed. Yes, it is. Alright. Um, beautiful. Oh, you share a birthday with Taya. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, maybe I should do the rewards times three. Cloudians are the... Really? I didn't even know Cloudians were in this game. I seriously had no idea Cloudians were in this game. I've never gone against the Cloudian deck. At least I don't... Oh, no. Have I? Maybe I have once. Maybe I have once gone against Cloudians. Maybe once. Now, let's do times three. Why not? So this one, we have to really put on a performance. We're doing rewards times three. Yeah, I know. I should look up farming decks, honestly. Mestioku, my friend. Thank you for donating via Streamlabs. See, again, when I'm doing the talking yu gi I can't hear it, but when I'm doing this, I can see it. So thank you so much, my friend. Uh, thank you for the $2 donation. Uh, and again, the reason it doesn't pop up is because it's not a super chat, but I can still see it on here. I can't wait for Arc 5 World to come out so I can force Gongenziga to activate spells and traps. I mean, that's kind of sadistic, but hey, you do you, man. <laughs> we're still far from Arc 5 World, right? I mean, Arc 5 World, we're probably... We're probably what, like... A year and a half away, maybe? Maybe September of 2021? Arc 5 World. Yeah, and then they have to add Pendulums. I wonder if they do Arc 5 Worlds, because Arc 5 requires them to change the whole board. We really don't know what Pendulums would look like in Speed Duels. That's kind of fascinating, because Pendulums were the only, um, the only summoning mechanic that was not in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrayans. So we literally have no idea, um, what Pendulums would look like in Duel Links and in Speed Duels. So, I don't know if Arc 5 World would come for that reason. Because they would have to change the entire game. But maybe to spice it up at that point, they'll feel it's a good decision. Um, I don't know. That, that's actually kind of interesting. Thank you, cool gamer. I, I appreciate it. But um, regardless, Messioku, thank you so much for the donation, man. It means a lot. Arc 5 World, I mean, Vrain's World, you can't even argue that Vrain's World would work better than Arc 5 World. Oh, well, no, maybe not. Never mind. Never mind, because of the links. No, it wouldn't. What am I saying? Just because there were speed duels in Vrain's, that was my only basis, but Vrain's would also change the whole board. So, Vrain's and Arc 5 are kind of in the same boat there, so never mind. Forgot what I said. Yeah, Vrain, I mean, Vrains and Arc 5 would be in the same boat, though. That's the problem. Where they'd have to change the whole board. Seven's world. Well, yeah, but Seven's is rush duels. Dude, the amount of people that would be infuriated if they skipped Arc 5 and Vrains to do a Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven's world. Oh, my God. I mean, the... the 
I can't, I can't even fathom it, dude. People would be infuriated. Oh my god. I, I, it actually is scaring me to even imagine it. That's, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, that, that won't happen. Seven's world is... Who knows if they'd even get to it. Yeah, I think even people that, like, were watching Sevens and enjoying Sevens would be upset because it's like, all right, well, how do you skip all the other shows? Um, you know, if you're a fan of Zexel and Sevens, you're still going to be annoyed at that news. So, no, I don't think that would go over too well. That's not going to happen. That's not something that anyone needs to worry about. Especially because it's not even speed duels. It's literally rush duels. Perfect dub voice for Roman is Serena from Arc 5. Nicholas Horton... Thank you so much for the donation, man. You are the best. Perfect dub vote. And thank you. Uh, hey, JT Ultimate. How you doing? Perfect dub voice for Roman is Serena from Arc 5. Serena from Arc 5 is voiced by the same girl that did May from Pokemon. Is that true? Serena Arc 5 dub VA. Who voiced her in Arc 5? Um, who voiced her? Emily Bauer, and didn't Emily, vo or maybe I'm thinking of Yuzu. Oh no, she voices all the bracelet girls. Yeah, actually, the voice of Serena is the voice of all the bracelet girls. Yeah, I will say this. I, um, I, I like, I like her voice a lot. Dawn, right, Dawn, not May. I'm sorry, Dawn, Dawn. I, I like her voice a lot. I really do. So I would be completely okay with that. Um, and it, it would fit Roman's voice really well, I think. I can't even think about a dub for... A dub for Vra uh, uh, for sevens. I really can't. Emily, yeah, it's a that's a good call, Nicholas. She, she's a really good VA. Um, I know. I think it is all bracelet girls proxy, man. I think it is, unless the Wikipedia was wrong because I just saw it on the the Wikipedia. Now imagine doing. I mean, literally the same guy did Yuga, Yugo. Yuga. I'm getting my names confused. Yugo, Yuto, Yuri, and Yuya. The same guy in the English dub did all the, the U boys. And he did Zark. <laughs> and he did Zark. Uh, I think it was Michael Lissio Jr., I think. Um, God, we should get a lot of points for that. We, we, I feel like we dominated her, dude. We should get a lot of points for that. Yeah, now he's doing eye and brains. Let's see. I'd like 4,000. Come on, give us 4,000, baby. Oh, I'll take it. All right, we should be getting... And the multiplier is on times three. Oh! 187,000. I love it, dude. I love it. Beautiful. Did you need to practice more, Tayo? We're almost out of... Uh, Where do we get... Oh, so we already got the card sleeves, didn't we? We must have gotten the card sleeves. Um, Can't do rewards times three. We'll do rewards times two. Right. I should use a farm deck. Use the sleeves. I'll put the sleeves on after this duel. I'll put them on after this duel. I think, yeah, I, I think he suits Yuya really well. And Kay, thank you so much for another donation. I promise I will. I, I never miss reading donations. I will read that I in a second. A the problem was, Let's um... Duel. Duel. My turn. I set a monster. Having I one guy play turn. four characters it's is, is uh, not... It's just... I, I don't know. It's very difficult. Gonna see how Prophecy fares against gimmick puppets when Zexal World gets added. Dude, Kay, that donation, that comment... Got me so hyped for Quattro in this game and all of his quotes. Uh, the Arclight Brothers, when they get added, I'm going to be so pumped. It'll probably be a while after um, Zexal World comes out for the Arclight Brothers to get added. But Quattro being one of my favorite characters for... Uh, I, I cannot wait for that, dude. I cannot wait for that. That's going to be amazing. And thank you again, Kay, for the donation. I'm, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, I don't know the first thing about farm decks, so that's something that I, I definitely need to look at. From my hair, I activate a spell card. Hmm. I fusion summon a monster. I activate my monster's effect. Hmm. I spell let's okay. I activate my monster's effect. 
All right, well, this is the last duel I think in this event we can do for a while because we're out of ice cream. I love how ice cream is the currency that you have to duel this girl with. That's incredible. My turn. I draw. I activate my monster's effect. Yeah, Yuzu's VA is great. Yeah, it would fit Roman really well in sevens. But, um, yeah. Yuzu's VA, Dawn's VA, really, really, really good, really good VA. And yeah, Matt Shipman as Shun was incredible. I set a and he's just a really good VA in general. But he moved out to Texas, so he's not going to be in Yu-Gi-Oh! anytime soon again. Which sucks, but he wanted to pursue bigger things, which is completely understandable. He was cool too, Matt Shipman, because he was like, he would watch the, um... He would watch, like, the episodes. Um... Like, he would watch the episode sub to get a better feel of how his character is, uh, so he could translate that to the, uh, to the dub, and it, you know, it, really cool. Although I will say that, like, the voice actors now, even Daniel J. Edwards, I think, is a great voice actor, and I know I'm friends with him, but I, I thought that before I even met the guy. Um, I said before I even met Barrett Letty that he did a, a good job with Akira, um, reminded me a little bit of Pegasus, and so I, I do like how the voice actors are more involved with the community than the first, you know, 15 years of the Yu-Gi-Oh! dubs. Um, I think that helps, having fan interaction always helps. Um, I just wish, I just wish the dubs were more easily accessible. I mean, again, the dub is recorded an hour and a half from where I am currently sitting, and it is not accessible in the United States. That's crazy. That really is crazy. I, I don't know if the Vrain's dub is decent because I, I genuinely have I've seen bits and pieces. No, no DVDs or anything. There hasn't been any word of an official release. At some point, they're gonna dump it all to the uh, all to you know all on some service, Netflix or something like that. But um, yeah, just just really sad. If anything, really sad. And I know it's it's gotta be it's gotta be tough for the voice actors too. Right, like it's got to be tough for the voice actors. You're you're voice acting in this in this show, and you like you can't share it with like anyone because it's not accessible to anyone. Like that's gotta suck, man. It's gotta suck. Um. Again, I'm just I'm just summoning. Yeah, I'm just fusion summon spamming. Should attack very should have attacked very magician girl first, but I wanted to see this animation. It's fine. Yeah, I know the Zexel sub. Uh, the Zexel sub isn't even on Crunchyroll, which is that's just bizarre. Yeah, I love Taya's art in this. Absolutely, it's phenomenal. Oh, is that gonna end the game? It is, right? Oh, nope. Almost. Almost. Yeah, I mean, Season 0 was before Yu-Gi-Oh! was even Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, Season 0 was back when the manga was just a games manga. It had nothing to do with the card game. The card game was just one of the mini-games that uh, would be played. So that's why, you know, if you ever wondered why Season 0 is so much different, that's the reason why. This is bad. I end my turn. Did game audio die down for anyone else? It's my I draw. Now, I summon a monster. I do play the waifu decks. Absolutely. Now then, oh, we're going to deal a, a big amount of damage. Let's go. All right, I feel like that was good. That that scream at the end. <laughs> Don't be sad. The plot is going to take over the world. Give me my 50 gems, baby. All right, let's see. 2,000. We summoned a lot. No damage. Mm 
Yeah. Didn't really do that much. Don't be sad, you'll be erased from existence. Let me, uh... Ooh! That's a cool icon. I'm not gonna use it, but it's cool. Um, let's go to our card sleeves. That's where we want to go. To the old sleeves. And yeah, like, look, I, my gems are already almost back at 2,000. I literally was broke on Tuesday afternoon, and grinding off screen, we're already back at 2,000. So, again, when another, when I'm going, well, maybe I'll do some pack openings this stream. Maybe. I say that very cautiously. <laughs> I mean, I need to finish the six Sams. I probably should wait before my gems to build up a little bit more. But man, it's tempting. It's tempting. I, I know I know the chat's gonna pressure me. Bendy Cup, how you doing? Giant rat, dude. I'm sick of the giant rat. I will always I will forever hate that card. I really will. Super heavy Sams. Yeah, why did I say six Sams? I'm, yeah, super heavy Sams. Whoever just subbed. I can't see the name, but thank you very much. Um, let's, uh... Customization. This is what I want to look at. Yeah, I don't know why I said six Sams. I, would, I do get this too confused from time to time. Let's see. We got the sleeves, right? There we go. Yeah. Now, pretty cool sleeves, actually. I really like those sleeves. I'll, I'll add those sleeves to Sarah's deck. Where do I do accessories? I always forget where to do that. Yeah, they do look sick. There it is. I don't think we have the mat yet. No. Um. I guess we'll do the sour mat. All right. I think we can dual tail one more time before we're out of, and then we'll we'll, we'll see where we are with uh, super heavy samurais. Oh, I'm out. Well, uh, is it even worth doing level 30? Yeah, I might as well. I mean, I'll get all the ice cream off screen. Pat Karenji, dude, thank you so much for the donation, man. I really do appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much. Make sure you use Yusei with 6 Sam. I'm not I'm not using 6 Sam. I'm using Super Heavy Sam. I, I misspoke. Um, I'm building Super Heavy Sam. But if I ever do use 6 Samurai, um, I will definitely use Yusei. If you're ready, I'm good to go. So thank you for that piece of advice, Pat. I appreciate that. And thank you for the donation, of course, man. It means a lot. Thank you, dude. Um, let's get a bird. Oh, that works too. Just summon the big gal. And the merch shop, man. I'm, I'm very close to launching the merch shop. I'm very excited for that. I think I got some really cool stuff that's going to be coming out on there. And I'm in the works to get some Lunalite artwork done from a very uh, a very good Twitter artist as well. Um, so yeah, some, some good stuff on that front that I'm really excited for. Just waiting on a couple more designs. Do. I'll special summon a monster. Come out, Fairy Magician Girl. Fairy Magician Girl adds a Magician Girl to my hand. My turn's over. My turn. I All right, let's do it. Lunar Life Fusion. I think we have Martin Engraved, so I'm gonna normal summon. I summon a monster. Uh. Sam, if you want to remake it, you can send me the remade thumbnail, and I'll, I'll change the thumbnail. If you want to do that. That was made, like, a year ago. So, yeah, if you want to do that, Sam, that's completely fine. I can literally change it right after the stream if you work on it during the stream. Stardust Nobody, the man that makes a lot of my thumbnails. Magician girl 
Alright, let's watch it again. Help, Dark Magician Girl. Three skips and a hop. I can confirm there are no plans for any sort of giant rat merch. Sorry to disappoint. Sorry, Pink. I activate my monster's effect. I'm setting a card. I activate a quick play. Yeah, now. yeah, you you got it, dude. I definitely will be making more of the the lore series. Um, actually, I haven't seen how that video has done. I, I usually, for my own stress, I don't check on views and stuff anymore. I just upload what I want to upload. But I want to see how that video is done, mainly in terms of likes to dislikes to see if people liked it. 398 likes to two dislikes. Well, I'm happy. I'm glad you guys like the video. Views, yeah, views fine. A little less than 3K. It's completely solid. All right, so it seems like it was an enjoyed video. Like to dislikes matter more to me than views. So good. I'm glad you guys liked it. Then I can definitely say there will probably be more. Um, Brad, judge your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why that that's where the motivation came. <laughs> that's where the motivation Don't came worry. to change it. <laughs> that's funny, man. Well, we're we're out of ice cream. We can't duel Taya anymore. Right, I got you. Well, that's good, man. It's good to always constantly be improving um, in anything in life, not just thumbnail making. Um, yeah, you did. No, you did make it. You, it was like March of 2019 where you made it. Um, okay. I shouldn't do this, man. I really shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a diss. It seriously wasn't a diss. I mean, I thought I thought your thumbnail looked great. So no, it wasn't a diss at all. What what set was it even in? Was it Future Horizon? No, it was Cyber. Was it Cybernetic Rebellion? No, it wasn't Cybernetic Rebellion. Oh no, I I I just meant that generally. I seriously did not mean that as any sort of insult. I meant that just to everyone and not specifically you. It's always good to improve in life. I mean, I feel like my YouTube videos are way better than they were when I first started. Same with the streams and the setups and everything. Um, start a spark, thanks. Why can't I see it? Am I blind, dude? Was an acceleration. Uh, it was Future Horizon, yeah. Duh. Okay. Uh, okay. Right now, I'm. Uh, okay. Thank you for the donation. Seriously. Uh, which is sorcery for those witchcrafters? I'm waiting. I'm, right now, I'm just gonna focus on building super heavy uh, samurais, and then maybe I'll go to witchcrafters. But I'm gonna wait on that. Okay. Um, but thank you for the donation. And I promise uh, Witchcrafters is a deck that I am seriously considering building after I learn Super Heavy Sam's. Um, but thank you for the donation, seriously. And so, right now, I, I Cyber Dragons would be nice too, but I think I'm focusing on Super Heavy Sam's. I'm still torn on whether I should even do this, dude. I, I really am. Where I feel like I should wait. How tired am I? Who are you asking for? Um, I'm not too tired. DZ second account, how you doing? I have a feeling that that is not DZ second account. 
I, d I do notice you, but please don't spam. Um, but thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think I gotta wait. You know what? Let me do 10 packs, and then that's it. 10 packs, 500 gems, and then that's it. That's it. That's it. 10 packs. That's it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna do 10 packs, and then I'm leaving. And then I'm leaving the card shop, and I'm not going back for a while. I'm leaving the shop, and I'm not going back for a while. Sean Pauly, thank you for the donation, dude. Seriously, thank you, man. Dill, read Transcend Game. Oh, I did. Oh, no, DSOD prequel manga. I didn't. I didn't. I need to, um... I need to read that manga, Sean. Yeah, and maybe do a video on it. I don't know why I haven't read that manga. Um, that's like the old... That and Capsule Monsters, like, the only pieces of Yu-Gi-Oh! I haven't, like, taken in. So I really do need to do that. Um, but thank you for the donation, man. I, I seriously appreciate it. And Black Wings, thank you so much. Again... This is free content. It will always be free content. So never feel any sort of pressure or need to donate. Please don't ever feel that way. Uh, you just being here means so much. And if you if people choose to support me that way, obviously I'm super grateful and thankful for that. But it's always free content, man. But thank you for just being here, Black Wings. And thank you for the compliment. Um, and Sean, again, thank you for the donation. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Damn it. I regret it, dude. That was... That was, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm not going to get anything. And I know I'm not going to get anything. Like, I, I I know I'm not. Again, it's a fresh reset. Oh, show Sarah's face. Oh, my God. Dude, if we get... What do I really want here? Another... No, that can't be anything. It could be the cybernetic fusion. Oh! Wow, we need three of those, right? So we have three cyberload fusions. Right? You play three in Cyber Dragons? So that's good. That's good. All right. Thank you for the luck, Goose. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Again, I'm going to wait until I get back to maybe like six, 7,000 before I really go back into this box to try and finish off the decks. But that's good that we got something that I can at least say, all right, it wasn't a complete waste. It wasn't a complete waste. If we get Giant Rat, Arash, how you doing? If we get Giant Rat, I'm leaving the stream. I'm ending the stream without notice if we get Giant Rat. Come on. Uh, maybe it's something decent. Maybe. Endless DK. Uh, okay. Maybe it's something decent. No. When it glows, you need the face to show up, though. No. Nah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, do still win. My luck's not good. Oh, could be something. Could be something. Come on. No, not good. None of these are going to be new because we literally opened the entire box last time. Um, let me check something really quickly. 1,200 gems. <laughs> Twelve hundred gems. <laughs> ten more. Ten more. Ten more. We're doing it. Ten. We did it. We did it. Ten more. Ten more packs. Ten more packs. That's it. And then this is it. And then this is it. This is the end. I I think I have a gambling problem. I actually I that that's in all seriousness by the way. Um. <laughs> All right, this is the end. This is the end. I I'm not doing any more. Now we're under a thousand. I'm not doing any more, man. I'm not doing any more after this. Can you guys stop rooting for giant rat? Because <laughs> if you guys serious, if you will it into existence, it'll happen. And if I get giant rat, I'm I'm, I'm leaving the stream. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, winking Karibo. Show me Sarah's face. Okay. This is a big one. Ah, uh, it's a spell again, man. If it's the same spell, come on, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. It literally took us the entire box to get the second Cyberload Fusion the last time we did this. 
It took us the entire box, and in the first 14 packs, we got both Cyberlord cyber load fusions. Oh man, that is annoying. That is really irritating. We already had three, so that's why it's, it's a useless card. It's a useless super. Oh, that's so annoying, man. That's so annoying. And that's going to be... We're not going to get anything besides that. I've lost the sound. I can't plug my headset back in. Oh, Karibo's winking. Come on, show Sarah's face. Because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sarah's face? Okay. Come on. All right, it's an effect. It could be the uh, the wagon, the super heavy samurai wagon. It could be that other cyber dragon monster. It could be the super heavy samurai um, supers that we need. If it's giant rat, come on. There we go. That's great. Oh, that's great. That is a must at three. And we got three soul piercers. That's really good. That's really going to help the super heavy samurai deck. That's really good. And you know what? I'm just happy it's not giant rat. Because I really was, I really thought it was going to be Giant Rat, which is a super in this in this box for whatever godforsaken reason. Um, but that's that's good, that's really good. So actually, with that, we are very close to finishing our Super Heavy Samurai deck. Very close. I think we just need that last Ultra because you only need two wagons, right? Um, we're very close to finishing Super Heavy Sam's. So um, that's great. That's really good. I'm not even I'm not even kidding. I'm actually I'm actually leaving this I'm actually leaving. I'm actually leaving. I'm I, I really <laughs> I really don't have anything to, to say about that I really don't um that's <laughs> I mean that I, are you kidding like are you serious <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy going back legendary duels thank you for the donation just quit now bro I should man I should I um I'm glad I'm glad everyone enjoyed that. That was that was actually pretty incredible. Um that really was. I I, I really I <laughs> That was phenomenal because it didn't even like hype it up. It just it just popped up out of like Sarah <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Legendary duels Thank you again for the dono, and I am going to quit now. Um, I am going to uh, <laughs> take a break. From opening these cards.
I literally, I, that's the reason I'm mad. Is be, I'm not actually mad, by the way. The reason I'm mad is because <laughs> you guys willed that into existence. I am convinced that if I did this while I was not streaming it, I would not have gotten Giant Rat. I, I'm con you cannot convince me otherwise. The, you guys in the chat willed that into existence. And instead of willing an ultra rare, like, you know, one of the cards we actually need, like Rampage Dragon or Super Heavy Samurai Wagon, you, you willed <laughs> Giant Rat <laughs> into existence and it worked. That was, I mean, I really can't believe that. I, 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 I really can't. I also, I set up this, this look when we were opening packs that I didn't even, I didn't even switch over to. I meant to switch over to this. This probably is, is better for packs. So yeah, I changed the pack opening outlook a little bit. Um, but yeah, this was a great get. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm not mad at all because this was an amazing get. Um, took us forever to get both last time. That's a must at three. I think this is usually a three as well. And we need one more of these. So Super Heavy Sam's were close, but we're not opening anymore. Um, we're definitely done. Um, Goose, thank you for the donation. Dangman brought it into existence. Exactly. And Sam, thank you so much for the donation. Stardust Nobody, please retweet my tweet. Hashtag giant rat everything. Oh, God. All right. Let me... Uh, you donated, dude. If people donate requests, I got to do it. So let me look. I want to begin a hashtag to make Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything from Yu-Gi-Oh! Memories to change his profile picture to giant rat for a full week. Let's make it happen, boys. All right. I'll retweet and favorite it. How many favorites does that tweet? If that tweet gets 100 favorites, I'll do it. I'll literally even reply to put it in writing. 100 likes, I'll do it. If that tweet gets 100 likes, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Seriously. This fucking... <laughs> this 2003 card. Oh, my God. That was great. 100 likes is too easy. Yeah, I shouldn't have done 100. I should have, I should have done a little more. It's already at 15. I know there's like 200 people in this stream. I don't know why I did 100. Well, that's my mistake. I can't change it now. I'm a man of my word. 100 was way too low. That was really stupid. I know I can beg you guys not to do it, but that's just going to cause more people to do it. So, well, I kind of screwed myself there. Uh, I did get Dark Magical Circle, Eddie, on the um, cards I own. Yeah, I, I do own. I, do, I, I, own, I literally own every copy of every card in this deck. Or in this box because I had to open every single pack. And in the last four packs, there were two soul piercers and one core or something ridiculous like that. Um, oh man, I need a an aspirin, dude. This is this is too much. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to be peer pressured into ten more uh, packs. Please, please don't. Please don't buy Ah, uh, yeah. All right, well, let me go to, um, I'll keep this, this view for a little bit. Um, Amestioku, thank you for the, the super chat donation. Not the super chat, the Streamlabs donation. Uh, unironically, Super Heavy Sam's has some synergy with Giant Rat because all of the important main deck monsters have under 1500 attack and are Earth. You know what, I, Messioku, you're trying to make me feel better, and I do appreciate that, and thank you for the donation. Um, but <laughs> is the giant rat engine viable in Super Heavy Samurai? Is that a real thing? Um, no, seriously, though, Messioku, thank you. Thank you for the donation. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I, do, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the uh, the support of trying to, trying to make me feel a little better. Um... Let me just, uh, so here's the deck right now that we're working with. I think this is, by the way, a good layout. Let me know what you guys think of this layout, because this is the first time I'm doing this layout. I think this is a good layout when I'm doing deck editing and pack opening. Chat's a little, everything's a little smaller, um, but I feel like it, it's, it looks a little more professional than it used to be. Um, and again, I'm always trying to make the, the layouts look a little better. Um, I'm, I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. Um, we need three, so let me do that first right off the bat. 
this um, third Soul Piercer is great. Going to add a lot of consistency to the deck. I'm, I'm trying maybe get rid of two, a second Kiteroid. Thank you, guys. I, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Glad you guys like it. Um, let me look up um, some Super Heavy Samurai Dual Links decks. Every time I always go to Dual Links Meta site. Yep. Let me see what what some uh, sample decks have. Yeah, I know I need a third um, Soul Peacemaker. They don't have, actually in this deck, which is a King of Games deck. It doesn't have any Kite Roids. There's no Kite Roids at all. So maybe I'll dump. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll dump the Kite Roid. Um, yeah, I think I'll dump the second Kite Roid for now. Um, no one runs three soul. This King of Games deck runs three soul piece, piece, uh, peacemakers. June 23rd. What is this extra deck? Two fives, two sixes, and two sevens. Now that I have that extra, extra deck spot, I might as well add the second six in. I guess no one runs the nine. I've seen Beast. Maybe that's from the anime. This card can attack. Um, if you have no, this card gains 900 defense for each. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's not a bad, but I guess no one runs it, right? Um, I, yeah, I feel like this is a really solid Super Heavy Samurai deck. Like, I know I spent a lot of gems on this deck, but, like, I feel like this is solid. Like, we need another wagon. Like, that's... We need a second wagon. And then, I guess a third soul... Pierce Baker is uh, optional. Most decks. See, I was told that three p piercers are, are necessary. Um, Sarthic. That's what I was told. I'm not adding Giant Rat. <laughs> Let me look at the um the guide. Let me look at the guide. Yeah, the guide on Duel Link's meta has Soul Piercer at 3, has Soul Peacemaker at 2 to 3. Wagon has to be at 2. Yeah, and then QB, the level 9, is 0 to 1. Okay. I really just got to play the deck a little more, though. It, it is, Sam. Yeah, it is the same address, the same mailing address. Please <laughs> I'll, I'll, If you actually do, I will wait for a stream to unbox, to unopen, to open all of them. I mean, they're probably, what, a giant rat card is probably, what, five cents each? Um, oh, yeah, no, no, I know. I have to look at more more decks. But um, this seems like it's pretty consistently at three. Oh, every single Super Heavy Samurai deck that I've seen has Soul Piercer at three. So that's good at three. Um, we need another wagon. And, yeah, I, it'll ultimately be me testing out the deck and seeing what I... Um, what I enjoy, and where I feel consistency could be better. Maybe I'll even tech in that nine sometimes. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Valentine. Thank you for coming by. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not opening anything soon because we're completely out of gems, practically. Uh, and I got a giant rat, so I, I'm pretty demotivated right now. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to play Witchcrafters. The problem is, maybe you could hit King of Games with this. I mean, if I hit King of Games, I'd be over the moon. The problem is, like, I, I don't know how to effectively play this game properly. Not this game, this deck. Well, that's true, too. This deck properly. Uh, so there's still a lot that I need to work on with this deck. Um, maybe, I'll duel, maybe I'll do some ranked duels with this deck, actually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a ranked duel with this deck and see how it goes. Um, there's going to be misplays, so if you are a super heavy samurai player or you know how to play the deck, I'm apologizing in advance because I've I've only played this, like, once um, off screen. So it's not going to go well, and so I do apologize for that. Um, but that's how you learn. Um, Witchcrafter matchup is auto-lose. It's that bad? Jeez. Wow. Um... Where do we even go to ranked duels? Am I, I'm having a complete... Oh, this is where we can see the rewards. Okay, hold on. I want to see these rewards. All right, we're close to the mat. What's at the bottom? Yeah. All the scenes. 
Okay. Did I do this fortune telling today? Hold on. Yeah, I did. Okay. Results are in. Yeah, for those wondering, I, I ranked outside the top 30,000. Played a little bit. I think I... Yeah. I went 14 and 15. 14 wins, 15 losses with Luna Lights. Um, at one point, I won six in a row. So, like, if you remove that six win streak, I went eight and 15, which is not good. Um, yeah, just... Just didn't duel well. Simple as that. I mean, nothing else really to say on it. Good night, Nexo. Have a good one, man. All right, let's do it. Let me switch back to the uh, the proper dual links. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Nice and spicy. All right. Um, I know I matched up against this guy twice in a row. Horrible matchup for Luna Lights, but I had been rolling in ranked for a, a bit. I mean, I hadn't done any in a while. June 22nd, I did a few. I took like a week break from this, but uh, let's get into it. See how it goes. Some ranked duels with Super Heavy Sam's. See how it goes. It's not gonna go well. I feel I feel like I should um We are the Plana. The one I know Pete. I had to flip the camera because otherwise it would look weird. It would look it would be me like looking that way. But it's good to see you. I have defense charge is my skill. I have defense charge. Alright. I guess the first thing we're gonna do is go into our synchro. Oh, we can't even go into our synchro. Because we don't have any high level monsters. Okay, well that was not a good start. Can, oh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I think we can search, right, with this? Yep, okay. Perfect. Uh, and we are going to do a... What's a good one to go into? Probably a wagon, right? Go into wagon. I think we should be able to special summon again, right? We'll activate its effect. Um, oh, no, its effect just changes position. Okay, so we wouldn't want to do that. That's if we normal summon, we would activate the effect. Okay, Trumpeter. Uh, now we're going to special summon. Um, I guess we'll do a level 6 here. The 6 destroys traps, right? It's, oh, right, Gloves is the good one. That's right. Gloves is the good one to get. All right, but no problem. All right. That's, you know what? Yeah, I probably shouldn't be, um... Right, and I apologize for the misplays in Super Heavy Samurai. Literally my first time ever playing the deck. So, yeah, if this is painful to watch and you want to leave the stream, I completely understand. Probably better to, um, test this against, uh, NPC, as someone had mentioned, rather than ranked. I draw a card. Yeah, I mean, Luna Lights I feel very comfortable with now, but it took me probably close to 100 duels before I learned it. Um, I'll probably have to watch some some set set, uh, the super heavy samurai players, this especially this guy's probably using my dark magician. It's my turn. I draw. Okay. Um. Um. I can make a second attack. Oh, we'll do this. We'll go for the win. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll work out though. He's definitely gonna have something that stops it. Well, this card is equipped to a monster. No, we're fine. And what is this effect? This doesn't have an effect at a time. Let's battle. Go. 
So two attacks, but let's see. Now he's got a... Yeah, yeah. I figured it was Dark Magicians. Probably. Well, actually, I don't know how this matchup is. I literally don't know how any matchups against Super Heavy Sam's are. We're going to skip the animation summoning. We still can attack him, right? And actually, navigation can't negate any... Now is the time. I special summon a monster. Go! My monster attack! We cr even if we're in defense, we crash? I did not realize that. Well, that's game. Done. That's game. For, uh, for whatever reason, I thought if you were in defense position and you were attacking, it wouldn't crash. I, I have a feeling it probably didn't matter. Here we go. Yeah. No. Alright, well, that's something that I, I, I learned. Alright. Is there anything we can even do here? No, that would have been a good card to get. No grave effects. Um, well, we can get the level 5 onto the field, the level 5 synchro. Yeah, I thought we would have crashed, but I'm completely wrong. Barrett Letty, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming by. That was a pretty solid play to get to our seven. Now, a synchro summon a monster. Let me see what this guy does. This card, um, if you have no spells, you can have this card's original attack. No, um, we're not going to do that. It's the battle phase. Now then, attack. Another Arrigo trap. At the slightest touch, your attacks will never reach me. I end my okay. turn. Here I go. My turn. I feel like that was pretty good. I was kind of on autopilot there, honestly. Um, good night, Jared Punch. Thanks for coming by. I feel like that was pretty solid. Pretty solid play. It's literally, I think, third time playing the deck. I'm pretty happy with that. Giga Gloves, I know, is a good card. Um, we'll set it. All right, Giga Gloves, I guess, is the card that you probably always want to search, right? Here I go. My turn. I draw. I end my turn. No, it's my turn. I draw. I do have defense charge. We probably are gonna win. Um. I don't want to do defense charge just yet because that face down makes... Okay, we could have won right there. Darn it, we could have won right there. Oh, damn it. I will not lose. I thought... I figured he had something that would have been able to negate it. Part of the cards. Guide me. Moku. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, wait. Is that... Moku. Is that the same Moku from... The, the old days? Oh my god, if, if it is. Uh, sup, Dylan? First time watching your streams in a while. Hope you're doing well. If it is, it's great to hear from you again. Oh my god, it's been years. And if it's not, you're probably like, who the hell is he talking about? Um, but thank you so much for coming by, and thank you for donating via uh, Streamlabs. YouTube doesn't take the, you know, 30% that way, so I, I really do appreciate it. Um, but if, it, if it's the same you, then hey, it's great to hear from you again. And seriously, thank you for the donation. And I hope you've been well. I hope you've been really well. Yeah, could have won that. Could have won that if we used our skill. I just was weary of the face down. Should have risked it, though. Ah, should have risked it. Damn. Maybe he'll DC. To know if we were playing Lunar Lights, we would have easily won. I attack with Amulet Dragon. Do we have um? See you later, uh, Mr. Lizard. If we get Giga Gloves into the grave, though, can't we? I refuse to lose. My turn. Yeah, Giga Gloves is great because it's going to prevent him from direct attacking. So I feel like 
Well, I feel like we're still in decent, a decent Let's situation. I attack with Magic distortion. And now I can arrange, Activate right? Do we have any defense. tuners? No, damn it. Um, I guess I'll... Hold on. Do one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'll be rearranging it anyway. Ah, I think we're in trouble. Soul Piercer really doesn't do anything. I'm just gonna wait it out. My goal is to try and get Giga Glove's effect to get him to zero attack. Um, I still believe in my cards. I draw. Here I go. I summon a monster in attack position. We have a chance. Playtime is over. My monster attacks. Well, now it's looking real dire. But we got two Giga Gloves in Grave. I'm just worried I'm going to mess up the effects. I'm really worried about that. Okay, that's a good one. We'll get that. That's the end. No, it's my turn. I draw. Oh boy. No, that negates it. I activate my monster's effect. Is there even a good one to summon right now? Um Another Giga Gloves, maybe? I don't know. I special summon a monster. I Searcher. I know, everyone's telling me you win. I have no idea how I win. I literally have no idea how I win. So I'm actually terrified that I'm I'm not going to win. Because I have no idea how I'm going to win. But... Oh, we'll watch the summoning animation. It's brand new. We got to watch it. No, I used all my tuners. I used all my tuners. Actually, how did I use my? How did I, yeah, how did I use all my tuners? I activate my monsters effect. Doesn't really matter, does it? There still is a way that we might be able to pull it out. If we summon this guy and attack with activate the effect of super. Yeah. Oh no, we probably don't want to do that. No, I I used it twice when I didn't need to. That was stupid. Wait, doesn't that make his doesn't that make the monster zero? That was an Add it to your hand. Excavate Oh, because it, there wasn't a super heavy samurai. Okay. So that's why there wasn't a super heavy samurai at the top. Okay. I got it. I got it. Well, that's how you learn. You learn from the misplays. Yep. You need to reveal a super heavy samurai, add it to your hand, and then the effect goes off. Got it. And because I stupidly picked Sphere Karibo and uh Sphere Karibo and uh, Kiteroid. I did not have a Super Heavy Sam. Okay. Well, that's a deck that obviously I need to do a lot of work still with, which is completely fine. Um, yeah, that's su all Super Heavy Samurai monsters probably is good for that reason. Well, Giant Rat is luckily not a Super Heavy Sam monster. Let me just do it in a test duel real quick against this clown. Let me see how it is. The cards will decide our fate. Du Duel. Duel! My turn. Set a monster face from my hand. Go. Alright, so obviously the first thing you always want to do is special summon the tuner, right? Come out! Special summon the tuner. 
Sean. It's a good question. I love Flygon. I do love Flygon. I like Chansey a lot too. Favorite Pokemon though. It's a, it's a good question. Um, I guess we'll start with the level five, right? Because we can get the tuner back to the hand with the level five. And the level six is for clearing back row, so we don't really need level six yet. And we'll get the tuner back in hand. Um. Oh yeah, we sure. That's great. Are you kidding me? Can we get an? Hold on. Should I go into my seven though? I don't really need to, do I? No. Activate the souls. So go into the seven. Okay, make seven. And then that'll activate the uh Okay. So I make seven and then I get those effects. Oh gotcha. Okay. 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 And we're gonna go for the one that boost the defense which is that green wall looking thing yep so shield wall and the other one is the piercing or horns Do we, oh we don't have a third piercer though that's the problem but that's fine so we're gonna add those cards Wall and horns. Okay. Oh, so I guess I, I guess I got. I don't know why I was adding horns. I obviously know why we add wall because it's going to boost the defense to 4,000. But what's the point of adding horns? Um, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. Level seven effect. Oh, I get it. I get it. And it's going to direct it. I get it. And now it's gonna do this twice. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a good combo. Oh, that's a really good combo. Wait, what happened? Obviously, I I didn't I didn't do something correctly. I mean, I still think we're gonna win. Did I just I clicked on the monster instead of direct? Okay. Okay. I missed once. Again, it doesn't matter in these kind of duels. I I bl I just blindly flicked my wrist forward and hit the monster um okay it doesn't matter though so that but that's a good combo thank you guys for showing me that that's a really good combo so that always has to be kind of the goal and obviously i can do it again now right i see what i did i attacked the monster wow yeah that's really good okay so seven with wall and horns okay Wall and horns. All right, that's obviously one of the. You know, you need to know a lot of different things. But um, all right, I'm I'm happy I know that at least. So yeah. So the whole gimmick, Sean, with uh, Super Heavy Samurais is that they can attack while they are in defense position. Um, yeah. No, no spamming the chat, as Pink said. I didn't. I, no one. I haven't seen anyone spamming, but that you know that always is the case. Um, all right. Well, now I'm feeling good. Now, see, now the problem is I want to jump right back into a rank duel. Which I definitely should not do. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. So if I equip if I equip horns to anything, if I equip horns to anything and then direct attack and use the skill, that's um. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in ranked just to make it a little more, a little more competitive. And also, even if we lose in ranked, I'm not trying to get the king of games right now. Um, we need to do two more to get some ice cream, so it's fine. And wagon can attack into right. That's why wagon is an ultra, and it's good. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. 
Now that I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I've already learned a lot, honestly. And if I get stuck, I can always ask you guys for help. Celestia and to everyone, thank you guys for helping me out. Dark Jay Strike, thank you as well. Not gonna duel anyone uh, this stream, but I, I promise you they will. Oh, this guy's gonna, he's got, is this gonna be the easiest rank he ever gains? Let's see how you measure. Easiest rank, easy this dubs for him. Duel. My turn. Okay. Um. When we go first, what's the best thing to do? Make the level five and sit on it with the tuner in hand? Like, what's the strat when you go first? He has Exodia win quickly. Just wagging it. All right, let me just, um, <laughs> he's playing Exodia. Come on, guys. <laughs> let me, um, I'm going to just, and it's always good to attack Piercer because when you set Synchro Summon, that's how you get the search off. Okay. So I'm getting it. So that's why Soul Piercer is really good to equip before the Synchro. Because now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the tuner back. Right now, yep, I'll get the tuner back, and then I'll get, um, yeah, Soul Piercer will search a monster. Um, and I'm gonna assume that the monster we want to search is Horns, right? I'm not gonna look at the chat until I do it, and hopefully I'm correct about that. Um, okay, and then I'm, I, should I just sit on it, or should I make the level seven still? Should I make the level seven, or should I sit on it? Level seven. All right, I'll I'll do the level seven. Okay, thanks, guys. That's what I was thinking anyway. Right, seven can come back. Yeah, I always forget that. Uh, hold on, we got a troll. My turn. One second. Well, actually, he's going anyway. He's taking his turn, so he's good. So behind. Okay. Um, let me see. So we're gonna activate. activate my monsters effect. Is it gonna be enough though? It's not gonna be enough, right? Oh, it's just That's enough. Battle. I didn't attack the monster. I do. I. Well, it wouldn't have mattered, right? Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have mattered. I did attack the monster, but it wouldn't have mattered. Jesus Christ. Pete, are you still here? Or Barrett, are you guys still here? Yeah, that was bad. Well, now I don't feel so bad for. I know I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to block him, but I. I my chat on YouTube is so delayed that I. I can't get to it. And I can't do it for the stream labs. Um. Yeah. Okay. So right, he comes back, so it's fine. I know, I know. Time is a risk. What is he even playing, this guy? I activate an equip spell. My monster's effect activates. Yeah, I know. I was, I was, I was trying to ban him for so long, but sometimes YouTube. Um, hold on. All right, easy. Yeah, he's gone. Hand, I activate a spell. The YouTube chat. I read the chat on Streamlabs, and so activates. the YouTube chat, man. 
sometimes get so delayed. Um, and because of that, I have to wait for the chat to catch up. Oh my god, he actually is playing an Exodia deck. You guys weren't lying. Oh my god, I thought you guys were kidding. Can I win here? I kind of want to get it Exodia, honestly. Let's battle. Go. My monster attack. I'm just what I was waiting for. Was that stupid? Oh no. Oh my god. Now then, I attack you directly. Oh my god, no. Get through. It's not gonna Just get through. Fucking Kiteroid, man. Kate, how you doing? Thanks for coming by, Kate. If I activated the effect of wagon, um my turn. I draw. I should have why didn't I activate Wagon's effect, man, in search? That's my fault. Did we not lose yet? Oh, did we not lose yet? How did we not lose yet? But we can't search horns, so we have to search a um a soul piercer. I guess soul piercer is what we're adding. Dude, I'm scared of Exodia. I guess soul piercer is the one we're gonna add. Yeah, I only have one horns in the deck. Yeah, either way, I think we're going to do piercing damage. So I think we're fine either way, because Kiteroid can only block direct attacks, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Ah, oh, you Sphere Karibo, dude. I hate... Can't we still attack, though? Yeah, we can still attack. Why didn't I... I should have attacked with the other one. Why didn't I, I... I attacked with the wrong one. Because Kiteroid can block this. Just what I, was waiting for. I attacked with the wrong one. My dude, I literally... I literally had... Dude, I suck, man. I really suck. I really am horrible. I, I, I literally have... I had, like, five different misplays. That was horrible, dude. I set a card. Did we not lose yet? I set a card. My turn is that was... That was horrible, man. I'm sorry, guys. That was... Usually I don't apologize for my, my dueling, but that was atrocious. Um, the level 6, right? But the level 6 can get rid of the spells? I think I actually know that. So we're going to do the level 6. Yeah, yeah, level 6. I, I knew that before you guys even told me to do that. Um, Alright, so that was something. So even though all my misplays... Again, this is only like... Yo, it's good to hear from you, man. It's good to see you. This is literally like my fourth time playing the deck, so I'm still very... Um, new to it. Does it destroy or return to hand? Um, no. Oh, it destroys. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I don't know how we, uh... Am I not good enough? Maybe I can't... We desire to remake this world into a... Thanks, guys, for all the tips. I, I really do appreciate it. Oh, man. That was, that was bad. That was bad. I mean, I, I really messed that up. But you know what? Like, when I learned Luna Lights, it's a lot of trial and error. So you guys do help me out a lot. So please, uh, you guys are patient with me, and I, I'm appreciative of that. That Exodia deck was, was going to rank up if he won. I'm, I'm pretty sad he didn't rank up. I only have one Horns in the deck. Should I add another Soul Horns? Almost all of the, um, the recipes I've seen only have one Soul Horns. Um, should I add another one? I definitely have another one. I mean, Soulhorn seems to be a pretty good card. But, yeah, bricking, I guess, is the issue. All right. I'll just, um... No, it's not bad, ZC Stars. I was kind of hoping to lose to Exodia, too, so it's not bad. Um, Black Wings just got Duel Links today. Um, you should go for Black Wings, man. You should go for Black Wings. Go for Crow's Deck. I think that's a... I'm pretty sure that's free to play. 
All right, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna add any more then. Um, okay. So then we're good. We're gonna go back. We just need to do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time in ranked. Somehow we're one and one. I I, I don't know how. Should be zero and two really. Oh no, I know recipes are a draft, but like if I see, you know, twenty different deck profiles and they all have horns at one, I'm probably not gonna put horns at two. I don't feel confident enough in my ability and knowledge to justify going against the the tradition. Alright, let's see. Oh, Metal Lens, thank you, man. I know, I've, with Luna Lights, I feel like I could have climbed pretty high, but with Super Heavy Sams, I'm still really getting used to the deck. Um, Felipe, it's good to see you, man. How you doing? Um, uh, Black Wings, are they expensive? Are they kind of like Cyber Dragons, like free but expensive? I summon my monster. I am my turn. You're up. My turn. I draw. Make that seven. All right. And again, if I, I'm gonna try and play without looking at the chat um, for a bit. And then, of course, if there's any mistakes that I do or any like you know different tips that you would give me, please let me know. I oh, should. Okay, maybe I should have just made the five. Does he have Treacherous? I feel like he has Treacherous Trap Hole. What's he even playing? Oh, Flamvel. I don't know a lot about Flamvel. Still streaming, Jack. Still stream. Uh, still streaming. All right, good night, Kate. Thank you for coming by. on the tuner we're gonna make the level five first and then go into a seven I think that's the way we're gonna do it we're gonna make our level five tuning tuning Awesome hero, how you doing? It's good to see you, man. Thanks for coming by. Uh, order of choice. Wagon, we'll do wagon. Just got the super heavy Sams up on top. Five and a seven. Now, a synchro summon a monster. Okay. Uh, do I want to attack directly now? I want to activate my skill now. I have a feeling this trap card is gonna destroy me. But let's see. I feel like that was that a... Alright, Geki Break. Yeah. That's okay, though. Uh, maybe I should have went into the 6. If I went into the 6, I would have gotten rid of that. Well, actually, no. He probably could have activated it. Okay. Right? So it wouldn't have mattered. Alright. 7, we can summon uh, next turn anyway. Yeah. Right. Was that a uh, was that a good first turn? I, I did that pretty much without looking at the chat. So was there something I should have done differently on that first turn? I end my turn. It is Dylan Genzica. You missed a search. Okay. Um, did I win? Where I actually don't even know where I misplayed. 
I is Soul Piercer wrong. Summon gloves and put Peacemaker to it. Summon wagon, use wagon effect. Oh, okay. Okay, well. I, he must have bricked bad, but ended up winning. Peacemaker does not do searches, it's the level four. Okay. We desire to remake this world into a Yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know what deck that guy was playing. A very weird Flamvel deck, but hey, we'll take it. Alright, gonna rank up. I mean we won back to back duels with me barely knowing how to play Super Heavy Samurai. Literally my third, fourth, and fifth time playing the deck. So I feel like that's pretty solid. Um yeah, I missed one thing there, but I feel like first turn getting a 5 and a 7 is pretty solid. So the whole theme Nova Gaming with uh, Super Heavy Samurais are that they can attack while they're in defense position. The Synchros can do that. And then they use their defense points as damage calculation. And you got this, this ice cream. I am running defense charge with Sarah. Yes, I used a skill chip to get that uh, defense. Let me... Alright, I'm, I'm feeling kind of hungry. I... I let me do another one. This might be the last rank duel. Yeah, I'm still I'm still very early in the uh, in the rankings, so that's probably why. But it's good. I feel like it's better practice. Even if I was getting smacked by in rank duels, I feel like it's better practice than dueling against the NPCs. We are the Plana. Win and escape. Ha! Never! Duel! It's my turn! Forgot how the Paradox, Paradox Brothers talks. Talks. Oh, jeez. Win. Win and escape? Never! I summon a monster in attack position! I activate my monster's effect! I end my turn! It's my turn. Hey, one eternity, how you doing? Thanks for coming by. Um, okay, what am I doing? I'm gonna special this. Um, I guess go into just the level six. Oh wow, he already has a labyrinth wall. Um, all right, we'll go into the level six. I and mean, that's really all I feel like we can do. And this is, again, this is not the searcher, right? Oh, wait, that search is if you tribute a monster. Um, piercer into wagon with Peacemaker. Use wagon to add another Piercer. Okay. Yeah, I don't know a thing about subterrors. Okay, so I'm gonna search this way, and I'm gonna search a wagon. I'll do this. I special summon a monster. Not gonna activate that effect. Um, I activate my monster's effect. And we're gonna add a a gloves or a uh, another piercer. Why can't, why can't I see Piercer? Horns. Um, what's the effect here? Uh... Oh, right, it cannot add itself, so now we can get it. Okay. Um... Okay, and then I guess we'll go into the Synchro. The level 6 Synchro. Or do we do we not want to synchro yet? I just attacked the frog. Okay. So we're okay, we're not synchroing yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're not synchroing yet. I activate my monster's effect. Oh, I see why. Okay. I see why. Okay. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for the tips. I end my turn. It's my turn. All right, let's go. Are we in good shape now? Thank you, cool gamer. Have a great night, my friend. Um, okay, so that's probably game. Now I just got to figure out how it's game. 
Let me search. Yes, yeah, so actually, I'm gonna search the um, level five. I think. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can't. Do I have the level five? No, it must be. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think about how to get this OTK off. I think I think it's here. Okay, what's the the next move to make? We're not synchroing yet. Yeah, I know the timer. Okay, that's what I was probably gonna do. I was trying to figure out how to get to the the seven. Oh, actually, I can get to the seven. Yeah, I can, I can make the level, um, oh no, I can't make the level 7. No, I can't make the 7. Um, okay, that's fine. We can, well, I can still actually, hold on, hold on. Equipping up, I'm gonna activate the skill and then just attack directly. And that should be it. Running out of time! Running out of time! That was stupid. That was. Why did I. I, I activated one too many effects. I, I was just effect spamming, dude. And I, I, I did one too many effects. Now we're on timer. Uh, he quit. You were not Jesus Christ, we were out of time too. We would have lost that. Oh man, yeah. Problem. The problem with that is, I'm, yeah. There's so much going on. The, I don't have time to read the cards because of the timer and rank. So I, I'm really just gonna have to um, read. Yeah, I guess he didn't realize the how, the time pressure that was there. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm I'm going to have to really re... I mean, I will get good with the deck. It's just a matter of reading it um, and reading all the effects off screen because... Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I will get good with it. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Let me try against uh, Vagabond because there's no timer here, right? Uh, and this should be a decent deck. Let me try this. Well, if I was doing actual ranked and trying to climb in the ranks, I would definitely do Luna Lights. Definitely. But I'm just trying to test this kind of deck right now. I can duel. Yeah, so if you don't even if you don't start with the tuner, what even happens? Like I feel like I draw. Let me look. Is this a, um... I will set flute. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's not a great hand, but... Okay, and so I'm gonna add horns with the search effect. Okay. So we're gonna add horns. There is horns, beautiful. 
Okay, and we are going to now equip horns. Oh yeah, we have two walls too. We are going to equip the two walls. Oh my god, yeah, this is going to be huge, this thing. Okay, and then we're going to activate our skill. Just for that extra little oomph. It's going to be at 5,700. And now, uh, okay, yeah, let me not do that. Oh, this isn't the one that can attack directly, right? Okay, that's the thing. Right, the one that can attack directly is the, uh... That's what threw me off in the last duel. The one that can attack directly is the level 7. Right, I got that's something I gotta remember. That's something I gotta remember. Yeah. 7 is the good one. 7 is the good one. I think we won, though. I'm not gonna even... Okay. Yeah, if it was a ranked, I, I... Well, actually, no, I still probably would have. I probably would have just gotten aggressive with it. But, um... Alright, beautiful. Great. Okay, so that that went a little better. Yeah, I, I feel like... I, I def, You know, it took Luna Lights. It took a while. So I, I will get the hang of it. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah. Right, and like... Seven direct attacks, six destroys back row, five can bring back one of the monsters in the summoning, yeah. So it's just like, which one do you want to go into? And, um, Wagon, Piercer, and pe uh, Peacemaker, yeah, those are the ones. I need another, well, I have two Peacemakers. Maybe, maybe I need another Peacemaker, but I don't know. Right, and Gloves is good, yeah. I know, Gloves, I, I, it's funny enough, because with Super Heavy Samurais, I always thought that Gloves were the card that, like, was the really, really good card. Um, but it, I mean, it, it, it is, but it doesn't seem like it's, like, the, the, like, really, really good one. Like, the, it's not the main combo that's gonna cause a lot of damage. It's just the stall if you get, like, slaughtered. But I just remember when I was using Luna Lights against Super Heavy Sam's, that Giga Gloves card completely obs uh, obliterated me. Yeah, it's good. Well, guys, I'm honestly trying to think if there's anything else we can really do tonight. Um, let me see. Do we have enough to maybe do Taya uh, Te again? Um, yeah, we'll do we'll do Taya one more time on on double. I'm not I'm not gonna dual chat just yet. I promise I will, but not not yet. When I do, I'll have a whole stream dedicated to it. I'm still going to learn with Super Heavy Sam's. I don't have any gems to open any more packs. Uh, it'll probably be a couple weeks before I genuinely get back into a big pack opening thing. Okay. So let me see. Special. Um. Okay. Giga Gloves. I guess Giga Gloves are always a really good one to, um to tune because it's not like they search so getting them in the graveyard is always smart and then you could bring back the tuner anyway to make the seven so yeah we're not gonna search gloves we're gonna always bring back the tuner and this just arranges right so this is fine you want to make sure that uh wet now wagon one that can be two three four five Um, what is Flutus effect? You can tribute this card, special summon. Oh. Yeah, Flutus in the grave is good. Yeah, okay. So, always start with Flutus, gotcha. Well, that's like the Bird Martin combination that I didn't learn, uh, for a while. So, that's completely fine. Now, now I know if I have Flutus just to start with that monster, so thanks. Team LDS, how you doing? I mean, I could equip. I'm not going to use it just yet. Oh, 
Alrighty. Well, I think we are in really good shape. So now let me get this straight. We're going to do... We're going to search with wagon. And tell me if this is optimal. I'm not going to look at the chat. We're going to search with wagon for horns. That seems to be the card always to get because it can let you attack twice. Uh, and then we are going to activate horns effect, equip it to our seven. We're going to juice up our seven with the wall. We're going to activate the seven skill. Um, I could activate this skill, but I don't think it's really necessary. Because we can just direct attack over everything. Okay. Is that the, the optimal play? Alright. Beautiful. Yeah, Legendary, I have a great man. I have, I have a great night man. I'm starting to get tired. Um, right, so wall was just overkill. Okay. That makes sense. I, I can... I can... I need to get better at math. Right, I guess to wipe the back row could have... Yeah, that could have helped as well. That's a good point. Alright, that that's good though. Yeah, tell you screams are strange. Alright. Turn three. Okay, gotcha. Alright. Perfect. Well, oh, we have some something we can collect. Oh, yeah, thanks. Cool. 771 gems... Ah, uh, there's part of me that that wants to open 10 more. It really is. I'm not going to do it, though. I'm not going to do it. I, I really need to get the, the gems back up. Um, yeah, I need to get the gems back up, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I think that's probably... That might wrap things up tonight, honestly, guys. Live for almost three hours. I think it was a good stream. Um, Ian, I will be dueling chat in a stream. It'll be titled... You know, dueling chat. Um, but uh, not tonight. That'll be a, a separate stream. Yeah, I always try to stream for at least two, two and a half hours. Sometimes, you know, I go for like six, seven, eight. Um, and if we had more to do, then I probably would do it. But I feel like there's not much going on. I don't feel like playing more super heavy Sam's, at least on screen. I mean, I'll, I'll learn them more off screen, uh, more off screen, but yeah, it was good. It was a lot of fun. So, uh, thank you guys so much for coming by. I had an absolute blast and, um, yeah, I don't know when I'll be live again. I probably will be live again. Um, with a, uh, with another stream, maybe tomorrow or Saturday for clone hero challenge. The game has been charted. So if there's anyone that's uh, interested in, in that kind of stream, Hopefully you'll come by. That'll be some fun to, to shred for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, had a blast. And uh, thank you to everyone who came by. We were well over 200 viewers pretty much the whole stream. So that's incredible. Thank you guys. To everyone who watched, thank you so much. To everyone who donated via Streamlabs or Super Chat, thank you guys. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate all of you. You breathe life into this channel. I know I say that all the time, but it's absolutely true especially with how YouTube has been recently. I love all of you guys. I hope you all have an amazing night. Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. See you later.